with the, with the, not the hoodie, just to tie it all together. Yeah, I just I just blasted off to uh, space. I came back down. <laughs> I was I was on like a a whole like oh man I fell into that rabbit hole of like conspiracy theories of aliens and stuff like that. Can't talk about it. <laughs> How's everything? It's good, but now I'm just thinking about conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Here he is. Put a little orange peel on that bitch, you know what I mean? I've been nice as hell. Hey, dog. What up? What up? How you been, huh? You know, 2020, bro. (sighs) It's got some ups and it's got some damn downs, damn it. Yeah, can't wait. What we got, like four, three weeks left? Yeah, three weeks. (laughs) I, you know, are we recording already? Because we should, oh, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just saw. I just put it on because I was like, "Why not? Why not? Why don't not? don't miss none of this stuff. Don't don't miss, don't miss none." Yeah, we you. made a made a mistake last time. <laughs> Shutting it off early. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this funny meme that was like, it says eleven fifty nine, and it's New Year's. Ball drops, and then it says right after that. Scream Jumanji. <laughs> no, 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 no. It says it says um. Instead of it going to like 12 and then back over again to one, it says 13, 2020. It's like, oh shit, there's one more month in 2020, no. <laughs> the, the one that I saw was like, uh, everybody not better not scream New Year's when it hits uh, zero. Everybody better scream Jumanji so we can get this game over with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's fucking scary, man. It is, man. Like, I don't know. And then this is like all the new shit that's going on in the world with the farmers. Have you heard? No. What farmers? So like the farmers in India are going on strike and they're doing it like peacefully and like the government is just like tearing them up with like the hose and shit. (laughs) So they went on strike. Then uh, farmers in Europe went on strike and then it's, it's coming to Canada they're all going on strike because they're getting like they're not getting, they're getting paid like shit, you know. And then if they go on strike, then it messes up the whole food economy. Like, you know, like you you're gonna we're gonna start seeing it once we go to the farmers market and stuff. You know, like stuff that's imported. I mean, I'm I'm with my farmers there. You know, I'm gonna support them no matter what. That's why there was a big move for uh, yeah regenerative farming and small local sustainable farming. Yeah. That's why I'm growing some food out on my patio right now. <laughs> how's the how's the garden coming? It's pretty good. I'm uh learning about Florida. But uh like there's some things that I don't know what what happened. I, I grew like sweet potato vines. I'm like, oh they're ready. And I pull them out and there's literally no roots. Like something just ate Nothing. everything. Oh, like, not Nothing. even not even like the skinny ones to connect things together, like nothing. The Florida lizards, <laughs> the reptilians, and there's some squirrels. I, I think squirrels no, are just giant like giant toads. Oh, I saw I saw this squirrel the other day in my backyard. I, it was definitely like on roids or something, some type of steroids. It, it definitely came out from like a hole that wasn't supposed to be dug up. That's a thing nowadays. Oh, you ever seen like a? It's like a pit bull squirrel, where like the pit bulls mate with the squirrels, and bam, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, fuck with you, man. That shit, bro. You probably can't outrun that at all, man. You just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Oh, it's twenty twenty. I guess it's my it's my time now. You know, honestly, honestly, there's got to be some like crazy secret experiments like hidden under the old Hoffman the Roche thing. That's like, <laughs> oh, like, wherever wh- wherever they're pouring all the like the leftover like waste, wherever that river is, yeah, they're all coming yeah. from there. I was like, the moment I moved into Nutley and I heard about that company, Hoffman LaRoche, I was just like, Resident Evil. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Man. It's, it's the COVID vaccine, man. It's the COVID? Yo, did you hear about those crazy allergic reactions people are having in Britain? Huh? No, not yet. But I heard like the first patient that got it, like the 91-year-old nurse or whatever, I was like, okay, she's ninety one. She she got enough time. She 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 enjoyed life, right? 
just yeah. in case. I wasn't impressed by that either because I was like, well, she's going to die soon anyway. <laughs> That's why they don't have to figure out like the years after like the side effects that happen like 10 years later, she's going to be dead. So they don't Yeah. <laughs> but people that have severe allergies are reacting to it. So I'm not. That's why. Because I have severe allergy shellfish. I'm not doing it. Are you, are you are you both gonna get it? You're not gonna get it, right, Grace? I'm not gonna get it if it's people with severe allergies. I already yeah, have okay. a severe allergy. I'll get it like probably like two years later. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll, I'll like you know, <laughs> it's like it's like you wait for somebody to try the food first to see the reaction. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you like it? All right, then I'll try it. Yeah, you gotta start treating yourself like a king. <laughs> I have poison testers. <laughs> All those idiots, huh? <laughs> Just like that, yeah. Mm -mm. Yo, I'm so cold. I gotta get a jacket. <laughs> it's cold in Florida. Oh, you know the world. Yo, it is apartment. actually cold. It is so damn cold. Like, uh, it's like fall weather. Like that's great. Uh, it's fall it's weather, cold. but on the tarmac, it's okay. So it's it's it was 50 today, and then on the tarmac, it feels like 50. Feels like 40, and 40. Okay. 40 standing around doing nothing. Well, not that I'm, if my boss is watching, I'm not standing around. <laughs> but if you're standing around, it's like, it's going to rip right through you. You're going like, ah, oh, shoot, it's cold, you know? Yeah. Like, you don't, you don't want to just stand around. I, I came back home. I got my fleece lined pants and a real hoodie. Like not, I had like a mess around hoodie on. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I had to switch over to my actual real no New Jersey hoodie. I was like, "Fuck that! It's cold." Yeah, it's, it's cold. like it's like the it's like the sweater before the jacket, <laughs> you know. So you got your sweater, then you got like the in between before your jacket. Yeah. And and I just I just converted to the jacket season like two days ago. It's like somebody turned the heat off outside. Yeah. I was like, "Oh shit! Sweater wet is over." Sweat is there. Yeah, no lo no longer looking cute. Ah, uh, you know. That's <laughs> Let's get, let's step this up a notch a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they started. Uh, today was the first day of snow. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. Whoa! How much snow did you guys get? Oh, uh, it was snowing, and like I went to work out for like an hour. I came back, it was gone. Ah. Uh, one of those. Yeah, it's like one of those. You know, the other, you know, just a little sprinkle. The other day, somebody was like, um, they were talking smack about Jersey, and I was just like, yeah. I love that ugly, gloomy looking weather. It's amazing. That's my shit right yeah. there. The crunchy water, you know, the better to make the bagels with, you know, that kind of shit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like everything, as ugly as it is, living there all all my life, you have to find beauty in all the small things. And you gotta yep. Say, mm, that's the shit right there, you know? Yep. Which is like pizza, bagels. What else? What else? Like, Jersey, snow Pork rolls, <laughs> snow, snow, <laughs> traffic, traffic, road rage. Yeah, yeah. Sleep. GSP. Snow days. What's GSP? Florida State Park. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> what? I Damn! I feel I Florida's know. taking over. Florida's no, taking no, no, over, no, no, no! Listen, listen, listen! The other day, I was on my way to Miami, and somebody asked me, "Where are you?" I said, "I'm on. I'm hitting the turnpike right now." And he said. Turnpike, and I'm like, ah, oh, ah, uh, 95. You know what I mean? <laughs> so no, it's not. I'm not fully there, but I'm. Yeah, You're so. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> it's growing on me, man. Yeah. This is gonna be my first winter without snow because I'm not flying. It's so weird. Yeah. Because usually I get like I'll fly out to Norway, or sometimes I get to go to like we go to New York City and stuff. And where to see, you know, if I got two days, I go to Nutley and see everybody. But uh, I'd be like, okay, now it's winter. Like now I can, <laughs> in my head, it's winter. And now it's, it's still, it's still September. <laughs> it's like fall weather. It's weird. It's so weird. Yeah, well, so, I, you were talking about uh, you were going to decide to come back up? I'm trying. I'm trying to get this guy to go back up. If, he's like, I'm not working in the cold. He's complaining right now. It's like 50 degrees out. Yeah, it's going to be even colder if you decide to come out here and work. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep saying to myself, I'm like, yo, come on. Really? Who's working outside? 
So that's why I just have to make it big on this YouTube channel and I could just be yeah. a and you don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> right? Everyone's dream. <laughs> All right. That's a dream. That's a dream. <laughs> I dream hard sometimes, you know? Dream big. Mm -hmm. Hey, Martha Stewart was from Natalie. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out to Martha. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Yeah>. aliens. <laughs> yeah, so I saw this thing. Uh, I was watching, like, I, I was on the TikTok rabbit hole again. So, you, all right, let me tell you one thing I about TikTok. TikTok right now. I was on TikTok for 12 hours. I didn't even know I was on TikTok for 12 hours. Yeah. What? Like, that has to be a record. Like, I was like waiting till it says you have completed TikTok. <laughs> oh, no. Yo. It's like a game. It's like, can you finish TikTok? <laughs> can, can you? You, you won't. No. I dare you to. <laughs> How many TikToks is that? You're only like a minute long. Yeah. So 12 it was 60 minutes in an hour times 12. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It was one of those days. Holy no. shit. I've learned so much stuff in those 12 hours. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Is there a spot yet too? Or... <laughs> Micro dosing by any chance in there? Oh, everything. Everything from that <laughs> from everything from microdosing to plants in your house to collect them to like cartel videos what? to like I don't know, like just random dancing videos. I was just like it's like it's like channel surfing like but in warp speed. That's making my head hurt. <laughs> Oh wow, that's that's a whole lot right there. Yeah. It is, man. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I I came across this video where um, it was uh, you know, New York Times. So it was an article about like they said that they have or they have proof that aliens are like living with us, but they're just they're just not ready to come out and say what's up to us yet because of all the shit that's going on. And then Perfect. Joe Rogan's like, yo, everybody, all the Karens need to stop being Karens, yo. I want to oh, see these aliens. True. I had like this, this crazy analogy. Like when I was a little kid and I'll see an ugly person that was just like so fucking ugly. I go like, <laughs> you remember Men in Black, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Everybody like, that's an alien. That's an, like, like, yep. I'm like reptilian. I can't be a human being right there. That, that's a fucking <laughs> alien. Like you ugly. You not yep. the world. <laughs> yep. Yep. You just stay in your house. You never come out. Mm -hmm. You probably come out like in pitch, like in the middle of the night when no one's looking. When nobody's you know, in the like water. eating worms off the ground yeah. and shit. Yep. Talking yeah. to the roaches and stuff. Hey, what's happening, big man? Yeah, you're a big strong one. <laughs> nice juicy one. That kind of shit. Well, he must okay. taste good. The pretty ones would be the aliens. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. The pretty ones are humans. That's what they want you to I'm human. Shit. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what he wants me to say. No, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> I want to see aliens so bad. I want I want them just to come out. <laughs> like, imagine they're mad cool. Like, they're just normal people. I mean, they could blend pretty well if they, if they live among us. But imagine if they come out and they're just like, what's up, dude? What's up? What's up? It's like, so what do you guys do? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about um what was that uh scary movie i forgot which one was it but like the alien comes out of nowhere and he goes sticks his finger out and somebody starts <laughs> missing <laughs> this is, yeah that's how we I think, I think i think that was the third one was kevin i think kevin hart was in that one yeah oh, that could be five i, I don't know there's so many uh, yeah so many so many no nah, the, the one with kevin hart when he talks about rats and mouse he goes a rat lives outside, but a mouse lives inside. And then the other guy said, well, if a mouse goes outside, does that become a rat? Oh. And he's like, damn, you just made a fact right there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That I mean, the one with the pissing finger aliens, that was supposed to be a spoof off of that movie, Signs. Oh, and man, I that was a great movie. Whew. Fuck that movie. What, what are you talking about? You're almost like the little girl in the movie with the uh, cups of water everywhere. <laughs> girl leaves cups everywhere full of water. And I'm like, what do you, what's this all about? Yeah. Why? You trying to trap an alien or something? 
Well, my I mean, my question is, why didn't they clean those water cups up? Like, you just leave it around, like, fuck it. Yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> no, I, like Mel Gibson's no, a guy gonna do no that shit. Around, you know what I mean? Of course yeah, not, but they, not like that. They, they got an uncle and a dad just chilling around. That's true. It's like, it's like, but not just that. How many cups of of water? Like, how many cups do they have in the cupboard? But also, you're aliens. You figured out space travel. And you did not, you look, it's literally called the blue marble. You didn't think, hey, what's that blue stuff? Is it, we call ourselves the blue marble. Is it bad? They don't know you about that You think this blue stuff is going to hurt us? Well, it's nobody, just like, what's that other movie? What nobody the in the spaceship thought, hey, let's see if it's safe to, to go touch water. War of the world. Yeah, here. Yeah, when they, uh, immunity, right? Yeah, when they all died. Well, that uh, was smart because that was kind of cool. Which they still don't have a cure for. Why, why don't they do that rapid, uh, that rapid whatever program that Trump started? It's like, we're going to find the cure for the common cold. Well, Sign over 200 billion or whatever. Cold. There's too many uh, mutations too rapidly. Yeah. But... But still, I mean, like, that's kind of scary, though. Well, it's really scary because that happens with coronavirus. <laughs> Not great. It's one and step that's closer an, to the zombie virus. That's another reason why you shouldn't go ahead and, like, and get the vaccine because that's one step closer to the zombie. You can't be saying those kinds of things. That's, that's crazy. YouTube. That's crazy. Oh, no, my fault. Already I, I was like, I had a conspiracy theory. You know how, like, they want to give it to all the healthcare workers first? Yeah. So imagine like if that vaccine was really to like kill people and like it killed all the healthcare workers and like we're just stuck here like what do we do now? Huh. Good thing I resigned from the from the health field. Is it the aliens? <laughs> probably. Reptile. No, I, I, I think the aliens are cool. I think they're just probably eating popcorn and watching this shit go down. <laughs> Look at these idiots. It's it's the rep it's the reptile people who are doing that one. Yeah, the reptilians, bro. Not the reptilians, man. I saw this meme. So like, you know how like, what what's your views on wearing a mask? Wear a mask, like it's so dumb. That yeah, the, that that meme right. or that picture for from the band that was playing at a football game. They were wearing a mask and the saxophone and like all the people that have to blow into their instrument. So they just cut a hole on their mask. So tell me, like, does that make any sense? Also, you're blowing air through the instrument, uh, and it's like going out on but, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you're wearing a mask that has a hole. Like, you're just walking around with a mask that has a hole. What's that like, lady too? So you remember that lady when it first started? Karen. Another basically Karen. a Karen. And yeah. uh, super Karen. She goes into the supermarket. She's like, ah, oh, I couldn't breathe good. <laughs> The guy. Oh my gosh. And then the lady came, the lady came back after it went viral. I recently saw like part two or whatever. It was a part two. Started cursing the guy out. And then I heard I don't know. That's husband, funny. Uncle. How is it how is it down in Florida? Does like a lot of people follow the rules on wearing a mask inside? There's no such things as rules in Florida. There's no such thing as rules. I was in Arizona and I'm at the supermarket, right? Just, you know, I'm wearing my mask like a normal person looking at avocados and shit. And I just see like, just everyone just walking around without a mask. I'm just like, okay. It's like that. Okay. Yeah. It's like that. It's just like that. <laughs> it's just like well, that. It's just like it's that. like no fucks given. No <laughs> just sniffing fuck. apples to see if it's ripe, putting it back down. Zero. They just breathe on it. <sighs> <laughs> Cleaning it. Oh. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> well, also the problem I have with that is you're not just, um, you know, they're all, they're all ideas like I'm invincible, I'm not gonna get sick, but you're also not thinking about the people around you who you can infect. You, can, yep. you might be fine. You could be a host. You could just yeah. have it and not know. Yeah. But then you have other like people around that just have like the shittiest immune system and you're just fucked because yeah. you decided to pick up five apples and only pick one. <laughs> that, that, that poor person has to take the apple home and bite into it and get fucked. Mm -hmm. 
They're not eating the apples. The Corona apple. With, with that immune system, they're not eating apples. Yeah, they don't know what an apple is. They've never had an apple before in their life. <laughs> never in their life. Man, I just want this world to like just get back to normal. Too much, too much time to oneself. Twenty twenty. Wild. No, ever yeah. since twenty sixteen, it's been wild. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. But I, I always think, you know, what was the world supposed to end in two thousand twelve? Something like that, December twenty second, two thousand twelve. Yeah, the Aztecs yeah. predicted twenty twenty, right? No. That was 2012. I think it was 2012. That's the reason why yeah. I came up with that movie 2012. Huh. And it was like, was it December 12th or like 20th? It was something with twos. And then they, I think imagine if they got it wrong and it's like actually like 2020, like December 21st, 2020. Or like that, that has a lot of twos in it too, man. Damn. Or the 2020 New Year's. But you, you know what's a, a, <laughs> another thing that's like, driving me crazy what happened to those killer bees man those motherfuckers remember that shit during the summer those, killer. yeah those big ass things yeah i think they were from china too it's, yeah they like they flew over the pacific ocean which is crazy like how that's that's a long time to fly that's like you don't time. get tired nice. like, where do you land like where do you land to like take a breather stop that hawaii no, you would go, like the planes go, you would go up north and come back down. Yeah, you go up to like that thing where Russia, or yeah, yeah. Russia and, and Alaska met. Yeah. What is that called? The Bering Strait. We learned, we, yeah, damn. Yeah. That's um, I remember from high school, or elementary school, wherever we learned it. Nah, yeah. man, all I remember is the 50 states and capitals. That's it, man. My whole life, we thought we had 52 states. <laughs> I'm, like, well, I'm like Alaska and Hawaii. That's 52. <laughs> I felt so dumb, dude. That's right. Uh, I won't say his name, but uh, <laughs> there was a person who thought uh, Las Vegas was a state. So <laughs> you're doing okay. And there was another person that tried to light snow on fire and throw it at me. So. <laughs> God bless their heart. Yeah. God bless their heart. Good times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are the people not wearing masks. <laughs> so. Oh. oh my God. So, uh, so it's Arizona. All right. First of all, I don't even know how coronavirus would survive in that heat. It was like 115 degrees when I was there. Yeah. I stepped outside. I'm like, Damn, it's hot. I'm gonna go back inside. Oh, sorry. It was the Mayans predicted it would end yep. in 2020, not the Aztecs. But they never took uh, daylight savings and sh and stuff like that into effect. And then leap year. Oh. Or did they? We just don't see know. everything. Everything revolves around farming. That is true. We see, we we like need a, a secretary of food on for this world. So when the aliens do come and they want to like take all our snacks and shit, we need that one person to be like, all right, to be the negotiator. I have a feeling they're not going to eat what we eat. <laughs> I mean, you ever have flaming Hot Cheetos? I, ju I just had my first flaming Hot Cheeto like three, three or four days ago. She's about to cry. <laughs> really? Are you, you're not going to be. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. To I, have to, I have to be careful with like the processed food. Okay. Yeah, me too. But I mean, shit. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like too, too spicy. Like, I was trying this new. Too spicy, but I was like, these are spicier than I thought they were going to be. I, I made uh, esquites, if I'm saying that right, the other day with hot Cheetos. A what? Esquites. Esquites. You know, elotes? The corn, oh. the Mexican corn. And they oh, put like mayo, oh, butter, maize. and then what is it? Okay. Street, street maize, street corn. It's yeah, lotes. Yeah. But the it's like it's just a kernel. Yeah. Oh, it's just. Yeah, like the kernel. Yeah, so without the cob. Okay. So I call I call it boneless elotes. <laughs> and then I put I put hot Cheetos in there. It was actually solid. Damn. Yeah. That sounds amazing. 
I saw that on TikTok too. Sounds really good. So I made one TikTok. And the thing about TikTok is like there's a lot there. Oh, okay. Okay. All but right. uh the thing about TikTok is like so my friend Oscar was like, you gotta try it, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. Because he said, well, you know, you make the first couple and they like prom- they almost promote it, so like it goes viral. Yep. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like mm-hmm. a yeah. And it was like it, 150 views. That's it. Was like yeah. yeah. You got to make like something stupid, like the the craziest stuff goes viral, and then from there you just got to build off of it. Mm-hmm. You just got to light something on fire. Yeah, you, you, and, then, and then throw it at somebody that's sleeping oh, or something. Um, yeah, yeah, light like some snow on fire and throw it. And then put oh. and then put one of those soundtracks on it. That's it. Yeah. Boom! You wake up the next morning. You got two million views. Two million. Got to put like some crazy ass epic sound on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll, they'll eat that shit up. Cupcakes. <laughs> mm. All eat up. Oh, you gonna tell me your good news? When, oh. What's up? So um I passed one of my tests. Oh nice, bro. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Fucking happy. Would you uh, uh what what test like your license or certificate? Um it's one of the tests that can help me get my license basically. There's like a bunch nice. of parts you have to test through to get your license. Yeah, so yeah. There's like three written. Three written and two uh oral and orals and practicals. But it's um like Okay, so the three ratings are general, power plant, and airframe. And each one has an oral and a practical. So I'm like, oh, okay. But some be taken care of. It's, nice. it's happening. It's happening slowly but surely. That does, that, does it vary state by state or? Um, no, this is a federal, federal, federal test. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Sweet, man. I'm down. Couple more to go. Couple damn more to go. Couple more got it. nights. That, yeah, that okay. much it's closer right. to New Jersey. <laughs> or just the money in general. That's That's it. Just... Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not being so poor. Not being so poor. Yeah. That's it. Sure. Not being poor. So, did you go anywhere to eat or you over there in Arizona or no, I wanna, shut hold on. down? I want to hear about, sorry, oh, West Khalifa what? in yeah, Arizona. West Khalifa, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. All right. So um, I was at a Reef Dispensary where Burner and Wiz have their, like their own products. It's like pretty much Wiz has his products there and then Burner is the one that grows all the, the cannabis that they have there. And so I, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll start off in the beginning. So I have my medical card, right? So I'm waiting in line. There's a huge line, like two hour wait. So I'm like, guy, right, like, let me just wait in line. Like, I, re- I really want to be in here, you know, just since I'm in Vegas. Um, so I'm waiting and like an hour goes by and like, I'm like halfway, I'm like halfway in the line. And then I see the door, right? And then the door says, if you have a medical card, you don't got to wait in line. So I was like, I was like, what the hell, yo, I just waited in line for an hour. I could have just cut everybody, which which was pretty cool. I cut everybody in line. I was like, ah, bam. Yes. I actually need it for something. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk in, and the next week, you know, I just see Wiz, like, just chilling in the corner. Like, I was like, uh, what's <laughs> up, dude? <laughs> like, yo, this is crazy. He's like, hey, what's up? I was like, <laughs> uh, like, what's up? <laughs> like, there was no, like, really any conversation at all besides, like, giggling and, like, looking at each other. I was like, what's up, bro? <laughs> like, I didn't even know what to say. And then I couldn't even take a picture because you're inside the dispensary. But, I mean, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, we shared a, a moment there. <laughs> and then I bought, like, a bunch of stuff of his, like, some gummy bears, cookies, some cards. Of course, his strain, the Khalifa Kush, which is actually really nice and mellow. I was like, I, I really, I was like, this is pretty cool, man. Like, it was like, what? Like, a, it was a big ass, it was a grow house. So it was like a really, really big, like, warehouse. And the only thing you smell outside is is the cannabis. It's like, damn, like, you're in the middle of the desert. You just smell it. 
And I was like, yes, I can't wait. And then you go in and it's like, I get to cut everybody. Like, it was pretty cool. Like, I was like, this is awesome. And then I also got a discount. And then the dispensary girl that was serving me, her birthday was my birthday too on Halloween. So she's like, oh, I'm gonna hook you up with some. I was like, bet. She gave me like a cool little like pouch with like lighter, like a whole bunch of like cool stuff with uh, their logo on it. So that was pretty cool. I was like, oh man, I wish I lived in a state where it's like, it's like this all the time. Oh. I'm like, there's so much money, like just floating around here. People pulling up in Ferraris and Lambos. Wow. You got, you got like old people, you got rich people, you got 21 year olds just having fun. People from out of state, out of country. It was pretty cool. Vegas. Yeah. Vegas. Wow. It's so many, like you could walk two blocks and there'll be another one for you. Hmm. there's one there's a 24 hour drive through one yeah so whenever like three o'clock in the morning you you need your fix just pull up that's crazy like i'll have the number three what what yep and then and then jersey just passed it january 1st can't wait (laughs) that's when uh business is gonna boom so i actually trying to uh find a job in that industry trying trying so hard hopefully my health background would uh pop out or stand out still haven't heard anything yet but i need to hop on it i wonder who's uh is there like a list of like who's opening it like medman or something like that so in in jersey you got so the way it works in jersey is it's seed to sale so you have to grow it in order to sell it so right now, I think they have 36 locations. They're going to allow 36 locations for the next two years until they allow more, you know? So it's really like, it's really tight knit. So all the owners. Yeah, it's really corrupt. Probably, and you have to yeah. know somebody who knows yeah. somebody or have. It's, like, it's not like Cali where the average Joe can just open it up, you know? Yeah. But it's the same with the liquor in New Jersey too. Yeah, by by county, there's only a certain amount where you can have licenses. Yeah, like the the diner had bought that liquor license from the Franklin Steakhouse for like an absurd amount of money. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's a joke up here. Where in Florida, you go in the grocery store and buy beer and wine. <laughs> you don't have to go to more than one spot. You just get everything at one location. Yeah. Yeah. The liquor is separate, but usually, like, the grocery store has a liquor store attached to it, so. Yeah. It's just going next door, but it's so dumb. So, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but. so I mean, the, 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 my favorite thing that's going to happen January 1st is um, they're going to allow edibles. Oh, that's interesting. Because so they're before- restricting it to 10 milligrams? I don't know what the restri- I don't know the laws behind it yet, but I know since it's gonna be recreational, they're gonna allow it. So right now it's only for 18 and younger for children like with seizures and like different disorders. So it's easier for them co- to consume the medication, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh man, you have you checked out this book? Like it's pretty dope. Who wrote that? I don't know, but did you uh, check it out? <laughs> yeah, the link will be in the description. <laughs> oh, you you wrote this book? That's pretty Did dope. I? I was reading this yesterday. Did I? That's a damn book right there. Yeah. 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 Verde Cooks. <laughs> it, was on Am- it was on Amazon if you if you guys want to go and buy it. It's pretty dope. Yeah. Mm. They put it on sale a lot. But go for it. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely definitely going to make a few recipes off of this book. Yo, the mac- that, mac- that mac and cheese is still in the back of my mind. The mac, mac and cheese, cheese is really... Yeah. Even with also- the weed in it, it's just a really good recipe. Yeah, like, but then it's like you could make a lot because you know you're gonna eat the rest later. But also the one thing I was like, and it freezes really well. But also the one thing I was like really surprised with was like I used white cheese when I made it because I was like, oh, this would be cool to be like green tinted, and it didn't show up at all. Even though like you know like the butter and stuff I used was so green, but mm-hmm. it, didn't, it didn't show up at all. And then. It was like, it, but it was so strong. Like the people that were my taste testers, they were like, 
This is delicious, but uh, I got a little, a little too hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait. I want to make my own strain. Like, that's my goal to like create my own strain. And I'm going to call it Binya Binya. Because once you try it, you're going to be in Gullah Gullah Island, yo. Wow. Yo, I think you need wow. to. Uh... No. <laughs> Just make the flavor saver. <laughs> flavor saver. Flavor saver. Flavor saver. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. A giant oh frog. yeah, that yellow frog. Yeah. I, I was so I'm in the process of making this TikTok about it. So just stay <laughs> tuned. I want stay to tuned. I'm trying to get podcast. it right. I can't stop laughing when I make it. <laughs> like I just saw that frog all the time and I was like, fuck that frog, man. I hope that Ninja Turtles are ten times better, man. Yeah, he would just hop. He just hop out from the background, like from the from the the little like that little hill. He'll just start hopping out. And they're like, "Who the fuck is that, bitches? Who the fuck call you, motherfucker? Go back over there. <laughs> Stay the fuck over there." <sighs> yeah, I remember you didn't that. Like frogs. No, it's not the fact that I didn't like frogs. I just. I didn't even know it was a frog. <laughs> like that's how that's how crazy dumb I was when I was a kid. I said, that was a frog? No, I was just like, oh, what's that yellow thing? <laughs> just jumping that? around. There was a cereal brand that was like, had a frog on it or something like that. Oh, and oh that's my like, God. That, he reminded me of that. And I was just like, fuck you. That's that cereal frog. That's his cousin. You can't. That's the real home. You homie. can't blame him for his cousin. Did, you, did you like that cereal? I didn't like that cereal, but I, I like that I character. I fucking hated that cereal. Yeah. I never had that. I, my, my parents only. I was grown. I was bred off of cornflakes only. Damn it, cornflakes. Yeah, honey, was it? It was honey smacks. Honey smacks. Yes. Honey smacks. That damn frog. Oh, no, oh, that, that was the homie. <laughs> oh, with the with the sideways hat, bro. The sideways hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Now, Good times. you know what was the best cereal growing up? You ever have hidden treasures? No. Is that like? Where, it was like you know you know Kellogg's Crave where like the inside is chocolate. No. Is that like some so knockoff this, of, uh, uh, of the what you say? Lucky Charms. A knockoff of Lucky Charms. Nah, so <laughs> it's like a little, it's like a, it's like a puff cereal, but inside yeah. is like a little fruit gel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and you could just like eat it out of the box. And That's I was just like, gross. yo, this is just like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I'm getting a sugar rush. Oh my god. I mean, I feel like by like dry. Something with a gel in it, that sounds good. But like in milk, that sounds disgusting. Yo, <laughs> like a Pop-Tart cereal. My shit was uh, blueberry. It was like blueberry muffin tops. Ooh. So it was just like these. A little bit? Is it, no. It was like, it was a cereal, but it was oh, like cereal. blueberry muffin tops. I was all about the cocoa pebbles. And it make your, your milk blue. Like the blueberries. Like the blueberries. Oh, like the blueberries. No, no, no. The boo. Booberries. Booberries. The ghost on it? No. Oh, like boo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like the blueberries. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. I'm going to go get myself some more drink real quick. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, you got to do a little commercial for uh, Rum Haven over there. For Rum Haven? His favorite. You ever try this? What is it? What is it? Oh, there it is. It's called Rum Haven. It's like coconut rum, but it's distilled. distilled from coconut water. Yeah. And it's it's sweet. Oh, it's it's in the is it in a white bottle? Yeah, the label's white. White, label. white and green. Yeah, white and green. Woo! Sure that was. Oh yeah. Oh, in the liquor store they have a. I really want to get like those round ice cubes. <laughs> oh, I saw I saw a lot of that on TikTok. It was like you ever see the one? It's like you put the ice block, and then like this thing just like closes on it, and it forms a like a, a sphere of like a just a giant round ice, like perfectly like smooth, and you just throw it in the cup. That's awesome. I've never seen. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Oh, we got to get one of those. That's nice. Oh, that. When I was uh, at Sir Latav, when they had all like the Star Wars stuff. Oh, nice. They had a Death Star ice cube tray, and it was pretty cool. 
Like, what? <laughs> so you had the little, like, the little indent? Yeah, it has the whole thing. I don't know how well it came out, but it looks cool. What table? But this table's fine. It always does that. It's just because I'm... Yeah. I don't trust it. I don't trust the table. I don't trust it, then. It may wobble too much. Then there goes all the wrong hair. Fuck. There goes there goes my good time. What the fuck? <laughs> you know? Oh man, I should get the pepper meat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh there's lime up there. No, no, I'm good. good? I'm chill. I'm chill. It's I'm good. great. Drinking it. I'm fantabulous. Oh, fantabulous, damn it. So where's you know? the headband? Oh, that's today. Not today. Some other <laughs> day. Oh. Drink, drinking the gallon. With the with the cucumber water right there. Lime. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying this new Lions. thing. It's like, I don't know. Everybody's talking about oh, a healthy lifestyle. So I'm trying that out. You know, I don't know about the lemon water. No, it, it helps. Like it helps. Water. Oh, yes. it, that that's just oh. because water gets more. You know, that's true. So I just I get to like I could chug it when I need to. So I'm just like, all right. All right. I mean, I don't know the benefits of it, but it's like lemonade. It's like a lemonade without the sugar. Yeah. That's too. That's too. Hell yeah. I thought it was like meant to help burn fat faster or some shit like that. Well, that's probably just. I don't just... think it does that. Yeah. I mean, it's a diuretic to begin with. Water. I'm pissing all over the place. <laughs> just cleaning out the your readers and all that. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it, get it all cleaned up. For the. That's number two. No. Maybe. <laughs> Is whatever actually like it's whatever you want it you just think about it and you just go ahead and and manifesto perfecto and that's that <laughs> mm -hmm. so i remember we were talking about you you were gonna become a chef or something like that you wanted to go to school for cooking well that wasn't another thing and what thing I don't even know where the last conversation like stopped. Oh, we talked about way too many things. The last conversation, <laughs> all over the place. I love it. I love. I love it. It's like you jump around all these topics. I love it. <laughs> Good stuff. I was like, whoa, this, what? Well, you know, Joe Rogan's leaving. Uh, left YouTube, so yeah, I'll fill the void somehow. Yeah, I mean, he's got to chase his money, right? Yeah, well, you're retired, <laughs> but he uh. So they deleted like a bunch of his videos or something off YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. They were just Yeah. That's why I don't like he did he didn't want that. Like he wanted to move to Spotify as long as he had full control and no like he edited or he controlled the editing. That's good stuff right there. Yeah. I I what he had his stand up with Dave Chappelle in austin texas so it went on sale like a couple of days ago and i was ready to buy it because i like the my favorite two people in one stage like come on now so i was like i, I was like ready like i'm like i have my, my my debit card ready and i had like you know just ready to order it and like literally like that was just sold out i'm just like what like i was ready it just happened and you have to buy five like you need a whole table so i was just gonna buy five and it was for five nights so all five nights got sold out like that. Holy cow. That's yeah. Crazy. I was like, damn, dude. I mean, this is like, this was rigged. I'm yeah. like, how do you, like, how do you buy it that fast? Yeah, that's, that, that's not even like, it must have, did they have a pre-sale? No, like it, they literally announced it like two days before it went on sale. Oh my God. Yeah. How do you even, how do you do it that fast? Yeah. So. Did, did they not announce it on his show or did they just announce it on somewhere else? No, I was just like scrolling. Like it was like I on Instagram. I think it was oh, like on, on Twitter, Instagram. Instagram. It was on his Instagram. Yeah. I, I was I like, damn, yo, I wanted to see Dave Chappelle. Oh, you on True. Instagram. True. Yeah, I want to see Dave Chappelle too. Awesome. And they took they took his show down from Netflix, which is crazy. Sure that shit. Good thing I watched like whatever episodes they added. They didn't add all the episodes. I mean, they. I don't think they can. Like, 
Some of these episodes YouTube are just somewhere. they're all on YouTube. Fuck that. <laughs> and I mean, like, shit. If you think about it, that era, like when that show came out, we had to be about 10, 13, around there. Uh-huh. Yeah. We were some fucked up little kids watching that shit, you know? Yeah. I mean, I was like, damn, like so half the stuff I didn't even know about until you like really like get older and you're like, oh shit. No, man. I wish I had more hands so I could give those titties more thumbs down. (laughs) Yo, come on. That shit is hilarious. Like, I wanted to say this kind of stuff in middle school, but I was like, nah, I can't. I'm a good kid. God's going to smite me where I stand. (laughs) Some thumbs going to come out the sky. If I say this, let me stop. Yeah. I watched. I watched all of it. I'm so happy. I got. I got to watch it before it got taken down. We're trying to get my mom to watch it before it got taken down. Gonna... And it's uncensored too. Oh, my fuck. mom. My mom <laughs> finally saw Dave Chappelle on the list. Um, last time he hosted SNL recently. Yeah. She's like, I like him. He's funny. Who's that guy? I was like, Who's that guy? Who's that guy? <laughs> Where have you been living? No. <laughs> the greatest comedian ever. <laughs> yeah. So, all, I think you're wearing your Tyrone Bigsby shirt. Oh, day. yeah, yeah. Tyrone Bigsby <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Tyrone Bigsby. Big Tyrone Bigsby. Big the, the Fear Factor episode. The best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> oh, these dicks just need a little hot sauce on them. Hold on, let me call my girl over here, Lakeisha. Who's like, what does he say? He was like, there's some, there's something you don't know about me, Joe Rogan. This is not my first time trying dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yo, the, the, I don't know where he gets the stuff from us. I wish I got those tickets. It's my dream. Maybe, maybe he'll do another one when the world comes back to its uh, regular speed of spinning around in the universe. Yeah. Well, I mean, if Joe Rogan opens a comedy club in Austin, then oh. just pop in, yeah. you know? He'll come through. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, have you guys been to Austin yet? Not yet. No. No. I heard, I heard it's like the food there is like bomb. Like, it's like food truck capital. You got like all types of new movements with food. You got like the hippie scene there too. Mm-hmm. I think um right now since we're in Florida, my biggest thing, I want to head over to Louisiana, so bad, because that's like we got Tampa that's on the other side of the coast and that's like four hours. That's three hours, yeah. and so <laughs> oh, Tampa's guys. right there, and then um you can just keep going all the way up, which is six hours, uh Louisiana, so. I would so Six like Six hours to. after Tampa. Tampa, yeah. So 10 hours from here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Louisiana, man, the food there. The people there. The people there make it, pretty much. The people, the music, the food. Yeah, it's like everybody like, always... Is, go to Texas every day. Wow. Yeah, because yeah. Texas is like... It's not that far. Are you going to stop by Mississippi, too? Might as well. Mississippi is on the left of... Gee. Yeah, map. No, 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 that's cheating. Uh, that's cheating. That's you, can't, cheating. you can't do that. You can't do that. Sorry. That's cheating. That's What's cheating. What's capital Mississippi? Mississippi. Uh, oh, it's that, it's, that, uh, it's that weird name. No, he's supposed to know all 50 states. Damn. Capitals. Damn, I, I didn't even. I forgot Mississippi, actually. Really? Yeah. Is it pressure? Huh? It's the pressure? pressure. I was about to say, that's the name of it. No. <laughs> Wait, what, what is it? Well, no, no she doesn't know. She doesn't know. No, I don't know. I know like three capitals. My geography is awful. I just know like one one spot in Mississippi. It's the only spot I go to. In Biloxi. It's like Atlantic City of Mississippi. Nice. Atlantic City. The food there is good too. Like that whole area, like that whole little, like from New Orleans to Biloxi. Just like, just that coast. Like you could just eat seafood all day. Oh. Yeah, like crawfish. Damn. I could, I could, I could eat crawfish like any time of the day. Shut. Up. They sell it twenty four hours. Like you could just walk into a bar at like 
3 a.m. Be like, let me get five pounds of crawfish. All right, boss, you got it. You got it. Yo, I went to, um, I was in, I think it was Store or Vero. It was Store, Store, Florida, down here. Um, went to this off of the water restaurant where like boats can just pull up. Got myself some crab cakes. Lord Jesus, some good ass yeah. crab cakes, man. Yeah. Some really good ass crab cakes. And then um, the other guy, he got dolphin. And the other guy got swordfish. I was like, fuck. I never he seen ate dolphin? What? Yeah. Yeah. And I was I was just a rookie getting like some some crab cakes. And they were like, oh, nah, we getting the real deal stuff. How, how does how does dolphin like what kind of texture is that? Really dolphin? I, I didn't get to look at it because I was uh, I Yeah, was, is it? I'm like, that's like eating a human, like from the ocean. Because yeah. you know, like dolphins are humans. When was the last time you ate some monkey? You never ate no monkey? Love that shit. Dolphins are smarter than monkeys. When was the last time you ate some monkey? Like I said, that's some good ass shit. Uh-huh. I'm fucking with you. you uh, I was about to say, I'm like, I'm like, what kind of club you going to, bro? <laughs> All ex- ex- exclusive like meat club where you just try like exotic stuff. No, no, it's, no. Uh, the Tiger, Tiger Kings meat club. Tiger King. I was reading this thing where um, this one like doctor like surgeon would save like take out his body fat and like (laughs) mix like meat like human meat and make meatballs what and he wrote like an article on like how it tastes and all that who, wait, who was the, where was he getting the meat part from? Uh, I think, I think you know, like, when, when they do surgery, all these, like, body parts that they cut off, like, mm-hmm. he'll take it, and he'll grind it up, and, like, mix fat, it, like, human fat into it as well, and, like, make meatballs, and, like, he wrote, like, this whole article on it, and he said that the closest thing that human meat tastes like is veal. Because we don't do anything <laughs> like, <laughs> that's crazy easy. oh and we don't move enough we don't move enough. <laughs> <laughs> so i guess human tastes like veal but unlike the veal we have the freedom to move <laughs> but that's weird that i don't is, know they have to ask weird. the fijians over there the who the Fijians. What's, what's from, that? From Fiji, the cannibals. Oh, really? I actually got, they call it the cannibal tomato. I'm going to grow it, but uh, it's the tomato variety that they, the Fijian warriors who would season the American, not the Americans, <laughs> maybe some Americans, but the uh, the human meat with. I'm going to try that. Maybe I should put it on some veal. Yeah. <laughs> So like, it was just like see humans and they were like, mm, breakfast. I think it was more like if they <laughs> killed you in battle, they would eat you. Oh, Lord. Type thing. That's crazy. That's my aunt. My aunt was a missionary there for a really long time. Huh. So That's why I have yeah. that statue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, have a, like, I have a statue, like a wooden statue of the Jean Warrior. Is it the one where, like the dick is like hanging out like this big? No, this dick's not showing. My mom, I mean, my aunt was a uh, a nun, so I don't think she would buy something like that. <laughs> 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 she would, I don't know. But... <laughs> so, you, so this island is next to Fiji or it, it's, it's in Fiji. Fiji? It is Fiji. So you got like this part of Fiji where people just eat other people? Yeah, like the, the native Fijians were famous for being cannibals. And it's still going on to this day? I don't know because I don't know how many like indigenous people there are. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like imagine living on that island. You just don't know what like a helicopter looks like and you see it one day. There's actually You're like, what is that? In in South America. <laughs> Let me throw my spear at it. People that are still like that. Yeah, like, Amazon. Yeah. Like I mean, we have we have Amish folk over here in the States. Yeah, but they, oh, yeah. 
They know. They don't know. Yeah, but there's some that don't know. Like I was in when I was in doing my like tour of India, I was like in like some village where these kids were looking. I had my the Apple Watch, right? I'm messing around with it. And like they're just staring at me like, what the fuck oh. is this robot guy? He probably thought you're that? an alien. I was like, like I'm like, I was like, yo, wh- I was like, why are they staring at me? And they're all looking at my the watch and they're just like, whoa. Like they're so amazed. Like, like imagine something you've seen that amazed you so much. And that's the face they gave me. And I was just like, wow, I'm like taking life like, like that's crazy. Like it kind of humbles you. You're just, just like, like I'm from the future, guys. bro. You could have been like, I am, I am the master creator. <laughs> you shall serve me. Yo, and then his he, <laughs> his watch would run out of battery, and then it would just, he wouldn't have anything to plug it into. <laughs> oh, yeah. and then, then you're back to just being normal old Raj. You know what I mean? Yeah, normal guy without the watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's crazy, though. I mean, yeah, like like those people on that island like just showing up that's why they people get killed that's why they don't they don't need people like they tell people not to go there because you are going to die like <laughs> we're not gonna come get you like you're fucked yeah you better you better start shaving that stick down and join them and fighting each other yeah <laughs> that's why i'd be telling grace whenever she'd be hearing noises i'd be like nah fuck that stay right here you're good right here <laughs> don't don't but here don't. I, I plan on staying right there. You got to go check. <laughs> and I go like, nah, whatever is over there, it is good. Leave it be. Was, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. <laughs> John fucking Lennon. Let it be. Damn. Yo, it was one time. It was like super late. We watching a movie and shit. And she hears something by the window. And then she's like, what is that? And I'm like... Let it be. <laughs> like, no. she's ain't, like, ain't no. mess with us. I ain't gonna mess with them. She's like, no, check it out. And I'm like, I don't feel like being nosy. <laughs> that's not my. That's not my boggle. That's not my. Ba- I no, 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 no. It's not me. <laughs> like the demon under your bed. Like, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna check. Like, let it be. Yeah, like you know, because my majority is horror movies. I mean, I mean, who goes first? No, no. There, like real talk, you know. <laughs> and then the second one to go, majority of the time, are who? <laughs> so if I actually go, like, I'm not letting that happen to me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen to her. So I'm actually, I'm, hel- I'm hel- helping her. But I'm that, saving her. That's why I went anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Horror we- movies 101. Yeah. There we also. We it was a frog. It was a toad. That's all it was. Oh, it was a little binya binya. Yeah. yeah. One of those. <laughs> Stop it around. One of those little. It was huge. It crispy, was a little, it crispy was like, toast. The cereal was, one. Well, you want to hear a frog joke? It was mm. bigger than like this. It's pretty big. I don't know what is. What's the? Yeah, the frog joke. What did the one lesbian frog say to the other lesbian frog? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> We really do taste like chicken. (laughs) 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 No, nothing. (laughs) Have you had frog before? Never. Oh, it tastes like chicken. (laughs) So So you you will probably got it if you ate frog. Well, if you go down to Mississippi, you'll have frog. Oh, frog legs. They got try it fried and uh and broiled. The only two ways. People will, like just cook up some alligator. That's oh, alligator, alligator is uh-huh. good. Alligator, alligator. Cooked, I don't know yeah. what it is, but they cook that yeah, around and here. snakes. And I had to be careful though, because I'm not sure if I'm allergic to it. That's why I haven't tried it yet, because I have such a bad shellfish allergy. I don't know. I know I'm allergic to snails too, so I gotta. Oh, I sea just... snails. Uh, I had... <laughs> sea snails is my favorite. No, I, in China... I get it in Chinatown, at at this place called Wu Hop. Woohop! Oh my God! Yes, that is the fucking spot, man. Yep, yep. It's the 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 snails and the black bean sauce. Yeah, I, I have it. Their shirts. <laughs> I have it. Uh, it's a, one of my old YouTube videos. I think it's like my second one or something like that. I'm eating it on camera. 
Yeah, people are like, what is that? Like, when I go there and order it with my family, like, everybody looks at us, and they're like, oh, I want to try that. And then, like, they just run out of snow. Like, they have a tank of sea snails. And, like, once people see somebody order it, like, they're always curious. That's and dope. then, like, next thing you know, they just run out. That's dope. It always takes that one plate for everybody to start ordering. Because, like, almost, like, what, 300 come on a plate, like, this big? Because they're so tiny. You eat it with, like, a toothpick. Yeah. And they give you so much food over there. Oh, yeah. And those guys still look the same from, like, 30 years ago. Like, I, they don't I, age. I've I don't never know what been it there. is. I've well, never been there. My like, sister There's has young been there. or there's, like, ancient. Is it? I don't know. They Honestly, <laughs> they could be, like, 300 years old, day. just saying. That's the thing. They wake up one day and all of a sudden they're 300 years old. They go from being, like, 14 to being, like, 300. <laughs> they could be aliens. I don't know. I told my, Reptilian. my friend G is that and when I went to school with him I was like 18 and I was going to school with him for like at least a year maybe a year and a half and then I was like oh I'm turning 21 like you ought to come to my party and stuff he's like I'm kind of too old for that I was like I'm old to you he was like uh I think he was like 35 or something like he was like <laughs> I was like, I thought you were younger than me. I thought you were going to say you couldn't come because you're not old enough to drink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's wild. Yeah, the first thing I asked, like, when, when somebody looks, like, super young, I, the first thing I had to ask is if you're vegan or not. Just so I could, like, be like, okay, it, m- it might be real. Like, vegan no. can actually make you really, really healthy. Oh, you'll get no superpowers. No, usually they just yeah. tired and hungry. No yeah, or they just have really good uh, lotion that they just don't tell people about. It really is the lotion. Lots of night-night cream. Yeah. <laughs> Silky <laughs> smooth cream, yo. Yo. That's the reason why black don't crack. It's the night-night cream. <laughs> there you go. That's the secret. Sorry, black folks. I put that shit out there. Lotion. 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 It puts the lotion on the skin. Just put that shit on. You know what I mean? Every night. Oh, what kind of lotion? Navita. I can't tell you. That oh, all right. I guess it's <laughs> a, on, the, on the next one, you could tell us. Maybe. I uh, just, yeah. I just said it. Yeah. I just said it. I'm gonna let all the whites know. <laughs> I <live. laughs> Navia. Forty-eight hour moisture. Forty-eight hour moisture. Damn. All right. But you have to do it every night. Every night. Every night. In a circular motion. You know how <laughs> some 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 homeboys in their waves. You know what I mean? It's like that. Every single night with the lotion. It sounds so wrong. And you would think you would think it would be twenty. Think it'd be the twenty-four hour one every night, but it's the forty-eight hour one every it's night. It's you, it's the, that's the secret right there. Like you want, you want to let it double. You use a 48 hour. We're like half as old here. Yes. You're the 40 hours. <laughs> I mean, with this beard, I look I look my age. The moment I shave my beard, I'm what? Great. Yeah. I didn't I my... dating a 21 year old. Oh my god. Yeah. It's not like even that. it's not even 21 year old. It's like stay away from the high school ladies you creep. Yeah. High school guys are creep. Just like that. <laughs> Lots of fucking lotion. So, Grace, you got any uh, any new plans for food? Yeah, I. Well, I changed my strategy up. It's called buy ads. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, shit's working. I did that. Over it, it, it does. And everyone acts like they don't fucking buy ads. Virg, why didn't you tell her, damn it? I mean, I just knew at the end, like the end of like, I mean, I haven't put a video out in so long, but I mean, now since I'm home, I have like nothing else to do. Yeah, you better be doing videos. Let's, let's, yeah. let's do a video. Let's talk about horror movies, huh? Let's go back to the horror movies on, on yours, just for shits and giggles. I I actually made a list of uh my horror movies that are like to watch. Like I heard from a witch that I met in in Arizona. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> they know shit. They know shit. You trust Hold those on. bitches. 
Yeah, I met a witch in Arizona. It was the craziest was story. Was she like a <laughs> Wiccan or was she like? What? All right, so, all right. First, I was at that supermarket. Remember, I was talking about the supermarket when I was trying to get avocados. And they don't give any fucks because they're witches. They don't. So they don't get fun. coronavirus. So, so there's a bar connected to the supermarket. That's so like the husbands can like drink while they're <laughs> their wives shop, right. right? So um I'm like walking by and she just knows like she just stared at me. I don't know if she saw my tattoo or what. She's like, You're born on Halloween. And I was like, What the fuck? Wait, what tattoo? Uh-huh. What tattoo? I have like I have a Halloween tattoo from my arm down. Because my birthday is on Halloween, right? So I'm like trying to get this whole oh, thing covered. The, in ho- I want to see the tattoo. So I got, I got a, a little, a jack o' lantern. Yeah. So I thought she saw that. That doesn't say like I'm born in Halloween. Yeah, but like the way she looked at me, I was just like, okay. I mean, she was pretty hot looking too. Yo. I ain't gonna lie. That's what caught my eye first. No. But I, I was like, <laughs> well, oh, then no, I, I got. Rough. I, I I like walked towards her and then she had that you know the that little star like the Wiccan star. The pentagram. Yeah, pentagram. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, what's going on here? She's like, oh, like then she started going into like Wiccan and like witch and witchcraft and all that. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta like walk away from here. Oh hell no! Real quick. And she's like, you into horror movies? I was like, yeah. She's like write this down like this is the conversation like i was just like okay and then i busted <laughs> out my phone and I actually did write it down so i'm about to pull this up because i i looked it up and i'm like yo this is like disturbing like, horror movies oh. like it's disturbing like i didn't even finish watching half of them i was just like oh my god i gotta turn this off Ooh, what? Oh my yeah god. okay so There's one, the one movie is called All Hollows Eve. Second one is The House of The Houses October Built. I think they're all on Amazon Prime. I think I heard of. Uh-huh. And then Ca- Cannibal Holocaust. And then Megan's Missing. Megan's Missing sounds familiar. Yeah, that was on TikTok. I I recognize that on TikTok. Like it blew up on TikTok, and I was like, all right, I'll wait to. I'm gonna wait to watch that. I ain't gonna watch that alone, yo. Hell no. No. I don't want to hear no voices and like weird shit going around. <laughs> so, um, before last Halloween, I was watching this show on Netflix. It was called "The Hill on the Haunted House" or "Hill on." Oh, it was like a series. Ha- yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was it ha- the House on Haunted Hill? Yeah. Oh man, that shit was good. That shit yeah. was good. And yeah, it's like I was trying to get Grace to watch with me because it got to a point I was like, I can't watch this by myself now. Nah. But then I came in in the middle of the story, you know, I was yeah. like, I don't get it. I was just like, nah, just sit there and watch it. Shut up. You, you, <laughs> you're not here to watch it. You're here for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like that. That was a, that was a, one of the last ones. Then um, we saw was it Doctor Sleep? Doctor Sleep. That was the. That wasn't scary Shining. though. The Shining. That was a good movie. That was good. It was a really good movie. That was good. Doctor Sleep it, or it made me go like I gotta watch The Shining. Yeah. Yeah. God. yeah. So I heard you have to watch The Shining first, right? In yeah, order sure. to know what's going on. I I honestly forgot The Shining. I last time I saw it was, it was probably like five, and I really really wasn't watching it probably. That's the that's the one with the two the two twin chicks like in the hallway, right? Twin like riding girls, a tricycle or the, something the, like that. With the big wheel, yeah. Yeah. See, like, nah. Like, if I if I ever walked a corner and saw two little girls just chilling, just staring at you, I'd be like, <laughs> I'm out. You know, like, psych. <laughs> How are you gonna make that left turn? The, I'm ditching the big wheel. They can have the big wheel. Fuck that. I'm out. Out. <laughs> if I had food in my hand, I'd be like, just throw that. <laughs> throw snacks. Just run the other way. Keep the food. Take the big wheel. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, well, our, our movies haven't been the same though. They have not. Yeah, they're not. I mean, the yeah, ones that this science. witch told me about. Fucking science. The the one with the witch told me about. You guys should check it out. It's definitely disturbing. Yeah, send us that list. I will. Shit. Definitely disturbing, man. 
if you want to have one of those nights where you're just like, what the fuck did I just watch? I ain't sleeping. Why can't I sleep, motherfucker? <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> yeah. Those are awesome <laughs> Wait, Grace, uh, I know you had like you signed up for like a a, a baking contest. Yo, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> I was gonna, I was thinking about like not being an asshole about it. <laughs> but did they did they still go forward with it or did they cancel it because of COVID? No, so it wasn't even like a baking competition. It was like a popularity contest. Which I'm not that good at winning those. So Yeah, so, those um, those things are yeah. I would even like waste my breath on those. Yeah, but if I was I, just like if I could I figured like it would be a good way to just like promote the channel. Like to Yeah, for sure. But also I was just kind of annoyed because um I'm like, you know, I don't it doesn't bother me that I didn't make it to the next round. Like that doesn't bother me at all. What bothers me is that uh, I saw in, there was like a, you could log in and there was like, um, you could ask questions and there was comments. And I noticed a lot of comments were saying, hey, can you, um, like I'm noticing that I'm just staying in the same spot. You know what I mean? And usually if there's a competition like that, maybe you don't win, but Maybe like one minute you're 10th, the next you're ninth, 10 minutes later you're back down to 10th because there's a constant influx of votes and everything. Mm. And everyone was like, my position isn't changing. So that can you show, but they would, they refuse to show us how many votes we had. And I'm like, then if you are refusing to show how many votes you have, then you can do whatever the fuck you want. You know what mm. I mean? Like you, the, you're not being transparent. And yeah, it was for a good cause, but I, it's times are hard, and people donated. Like you could donate, you could do a free vote, which is what I was like telling everyone, hey, do the free vote. But times are hard. Like I didn't really want people donating money if they can't afford to donate money. You know, you gotta, mm-hmm. put, yourself, gotta put your own oxygen mask on <laughs> for helping <laughs> others, and um, you know some people donate money who like, I think are probably, you know, they're probably in a similar position to me. And I was like, I really appreciated it, but I was like, I wish I could say like hundred percent that this shit isn't rigged because Mm -hmm. why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you be transparent and show the vote? So that just annoyed me, but. uh, Are you, are you good at like, Comp- like if you're in a competition like time time framed competitions where you have like 30 minutes to make something well my first competition i ever did for um the american culinary federation i i got a bronze medal in the warm plated dessert category which is actually it's it's not like you're competing against other people like for like a placement you meet like certain criteria. So you could have like five gold medals in the same category. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. um, but for that to be like my first ever, they were saying like, it's really hard to place if like you've never, I never even like took American Culinary Federation like courses. So to be able to like place in their system on my first try was pretty good. So that was nice. But then I also entered their sugar sculpture competition. <laughs> and it was actually, my sugar sculpture was like really cool. Like it was one of the first sugar sculptures I ever did. And it was a NASA rocket ship. And so I made like this sugar background with like flames, like the sun and everything. And like this rocket wow. shooting off. And I left it, we had um, the pastry room, the chocolate room, which was like this skinny room. And then the a culinary kitchen and the air conditioning was really good in the chocolate room because it's got to be cold when you do chocolate mm-hmm. and I did my sculpture in there I put it in there and the night that night there was a culinary uh like class or something and it was hot in the culinary kitchen so they decided they wanted to open the door to the chocolate room oh so all that hot, moist air got into the chocolate room 
and my sculpture stuck to the counter. Oh, so I had no. to, in order to be in the competition, I had to move it from the chocolate room up to like the stage. Yeah. Because I tried to pull it from the thing, the whole thing just cracked and crumbled to the ground. Fuck. And they just gave me like a participation. <laughs> <laughs> a ribbon, participation ribbon. Because I had some like extra pieces. I tried to like do some shit together real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh my god Damn. so i so recently i just started like since since i'm not working right now i started doing like uh meal prep all right you look like so, you lost weight since the last time oh know? yeah i mean because i i got so you remember last time i was telling you i had i have colitis yeah so i'm actually officially off all medication i'm in remission so yeah. that's why <laughs> Maybe the, the <laughs> cucumber and lemon water is doing something. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I feel a lot better. I, I got, you know, back into, like, working out, all that. Just, like, you know, staying healthy. So, meal prep, yeah. So, I'm like, yeah, why not? So, what are you eating? So, uh, I eat one meal a day. Watching? I eat one meal a day and then, like, like a smoothie or a protein shake. And then a Ooh. gallon of water. Are you on that, what's it called, Herbal Life? Nah. No. No? Because that, that kind of sounded like herbal life for a second. That's yeah, it's uh yeah, I know what herbal life is. Okay. That's uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that's hey, a herbal life, that's herbal life works for some. That's a punch. No, it, it, it does. I, it works. I've seen you, you my, I have a couple of friends that yeah. lost like a hundred pounds. Yeah. I was like I was like, where's the rest of you, bro? What happened to you? But a lot of that too is like getting caught up in like the cult mentality and ponzi stuff. scheme like, cult mentality yeah yeah it's like yeah company. i mean i saw the the documentary on netflix about herbalife it, it was called like winning zero or something like that betting on zero that's the name betting of on zero. what didn't know that. yeah it was a cra it was crazy like it was just nuts and then like i'm like oh now since i watched it now i have like this you know view on it which is not the same as other people have on it but i don't know i just i mean i just keep everything on natural there was um another ponzi scheme that was called the uh, um had started with a v i think it was called like fiber or something like that like the v diet it was it was like an energy drink but it was like an energy like a pre-workout drink kind of thing oh okay so it's like similar to herbalife type of deal yeah. Where you have to like find people and they have to buy subscriptions and then yeah. pay every month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get shit that you don't need. <laughs> uh -huh. One of my buddies tried to get me a fun that. I was like, uh, why? No. Just I, cool. That's what I did with the shampoo company. Uh, it starts with the M, Monet or Monet. So my friend's like, hey, like I, I'm selling shampoos and conditioners. I was like, oh, okay, here, I'll, I'll buy some. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm getting a box every month and I see like, a hundred bucks coming out of my my account and i'm like trying to cancel it they're like well if you want to cancel it you got to pay this much and i'm just like what the hell so now three months later i cancel it and i have like shampoo for like the next 10 years damn god so but the, actually the shampoo is actually not that bad it's actually really nice oh man look at your hair it's freaking it's glistening it's, yeah it's yeah lovely man Shit. silky smooth yo silky smooth Silky smooth. <laughs> yeah, I say it with a lift. <laughs> so, Grace said to me, she was trying to get me to do stand up when we got down here to Florida. You do it, bro. And What's the worst that's going to happen? I know, right? It was the worst thing. Like, you're literally, the worst <laughs> that could happen is nobody laughs. Okay, just don't do it again. No, you're, no they boo you. You're, you're right. And say, get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is for it. It won't be like that. Yeah, well, it's for it. Back off the stage. <laughs> but um, so we were living in Del Rey, and there was this spot called uh, Giuseppe's. Just it's called Giuseppe's, right? Just oh Giuseppe's. yeah, Giuseppe's. It was called Giuseppe's. No, Giuseppe's. Papa Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Papa Giuseppe. Papa Giuseppe. Oh, and I was like, Papa Giuseppe. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. And so I've never been to California Kitchen Pizza. Pizza. California kitchen pizza. pizza I was like, a pizza <laughs> pigeon. 
<laughs> California kitchen pizza, kitchen, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, this one day we go to the California kitchen pizza, and I was just like, I came out randomly, and I just said, "Where the fuck did they come up with the name California kitchen pizza? Like, what the fuck? Like, what kitchen pizza wasn't good enough, or just just pizza kitchen, whatever, you know?" And I said to myself, I'm like, I can imagine this guy. He just comes out of nowhere. Papa, I want to, I want to go to California, please. I want to start the kitchen. It's gonna be California kitchen pizza, please, Papa. And his father, his father was Papa Giuseppe. Papa Giuseppe, why are you gonna go open a pizza restaurant? <laughs> I was like, yo, this is golden. This is golden. <laughs> so yeah, I, I remember I was talking to you about that. I was like, yo, I gotta tell Bert about this. I gotta tell Bert about this. About the fucking Papa Giuseppe and California Kitchen Pizza. Still, still have it till this day. Like, why? California oh, Kitchen then, Pizza. And then there's this uh, frozen pizza called the Screaming Sicilian. And it comes with a fake mustache. That you can like put up your nose and it stays there. Wait, like in in a frozen pizza, like part of the like box, box. like this pop out like. What? That's pretty cool. That's unique. He took it and one day. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's the curly mustache. Oh, he still has. So I don't know if you want to put that on your nose. I got this. So she when she was flying. (laughs) <laughs> there would be times that I'd be like lazy as hell to cook. So I had some so screaming Sicilian. And she was like, you just put it up your nose and just like pop with it like that. <laughs> Things are awesome. You know, just a little, little mustache. That's a good, that's a good marketing strategy right there. Hell yeah. Screaming damn Sicilian. No, you're not a floppy chef hat. No, no, no. She's been trying to get me to, to wear the floppy chef hat. Yo, if I make a lasagna video, will he wear the mustache and the hat? Oh, you have to, dude. Okay. On that video, you have to, bro. You have to call me Papa Giuseppe on that whole video. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will no longer, in that costume, I will no longer be Noel. I'll be Papa Giuseppe. Uh, Wait, what's Papa? Please. You're his son, though. What's his. I know, but I am Papa Giuseppe. <laughs> no, but you're trying to go to California. <laughs> nah, no. What's his son's name? Yeah, what's I, his don't son's name? I don't know. I don't know. Just have to find out when we make lasagna. Then, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, um, no. Have you watched the? Have you watched that video, the hundred hour lasagna? No, what's that? Oh my god, like it was just so soothing. Like this guy made his cooking video. It takes a hundred hours to make this uh, lasagna. Takes like a whole week almost. Did he go like make the cheese and make the- <laughs> like I don't know, like it was just like and it was like so like soothing, like the like you hear like the raindrops outside, like you hear it's like ASMR and cooking at the same time, but it takes like a it's a hundred hour lasagna and like I was just so fascinated about it, like the way this guy created it, it was just amazing. But how long does the video take? It took like thirteen. <laughs> Cause I'm yo, I got a hundred hours to sit there and watch homeboy make a hundred hour lasagna. Good for him. Props to homeboy. But Lord Jesus, I ain't got that kind of patience, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of hours. We talking hundred hours. It's like he cooked the meat in the sauce and then like he let it sit because the longer it sits, the more flavor it builds. And then I, I'll I'll send it to you. It was actually, but the whole video was just so soothing, like just like the, the like the noise. Like the cutting board just minutes. slicing and you sure it was 13 minutes yeah it was it was definitely 13 it wasn't because if it was 100 hours i was not gonna watch it i'm just saying <laughs> yeah but i mean the, just the name itself is it's like your curiosity just you know you're like i had to click it and the next thing you know like 12 hours later you're like oh i'm on tiktok i'm on tiktok <laughs> still i gotta go talk to grace <laughs> i'm on tiktok so um yeah so since since you're like all right you gotta start making a video now so i already got i made my list what's what's on the list 
So I got, I'm doing vegan cauliflower wings. I'm doing, um, there's like, I saw, I worked with these hot sauce companies. I had to make a recipe for them. So I'm going to do a shrimp uh, recipe. I got, this is new, this new ice cream cake, like an ice cream sandwich, but it's made out of this, this biscuit that's like really famous in India. And I know that it's going to blow up. Like it's just because I, I searched it on Google and I cannot find anything about it. So I'm what like, is, all right. What is the biscuit? Just wait. Oh, no. just wait. oh shit. Because I, I just wait because I emailed the company to see if they could like sponsor me on it. So I could get like a whole like I could get a whole thing going with that because if I if that blows up I'll upset. You're gonna be the I could do boss. something nice. That's it. You're gonna be the yep. Papa Giuseppe right there, man. Yeah, hell yeah, of ice cream sandwiches, boy. Papa Gandhi, boy, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, that's actually not that bad of a business idea. A spot that just makes ice cream sandwiches. I think I have that already. That's golden. Cream? Is that an insomnia? Or cream? Cream. Insomnia is a cookie place. Insomnia cookies. Mm. Cream is a... I don't know. It's, like, su- it's like a Subway, except you make your own ice cream sandwiches. Like, yeah. don't make the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, it's like that. And you could also get the ice cream just, like, in the cup or a cone if you want to. But, like, mainly they do ice cream sandwiches. It's pretty good. I went to this, uh, this new place. Well, it's not that new, but, like, new to me because I hate bananas. So I went to, I got banana pudding, this, a place Ooh. called Bonanas. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Wait, why did you hate bananas, but you went to a banana place? Yeah, I mean, my boy, my friend was like, oh, don't even worry. Like, you won't taste the banana. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, bro. I mean, like my me, I like, I, I'll try everything <laughs> once, you know what I mean? Like, I'll try like different foods, but it was like an ice cream bar. Like, it looked like an ice cream bar, but they're all banana puddings of different flavor. So you had one that was like, Thai tea flavored. Yeah, one that was like ube flavored. It was like purple. One was cookies and cream. One was just a, their regular original banana pudding. Like it was all different flavors. And then and you could banana try pudding, samples. Like the vanilla pudding that's like the classic like vanilla pudding that's banana flavored type thing. Yeah, but I, everything was, it didn't taste like the, like, you know, the stuff you would get from your grocery store. It did not taste like banana. Yeah. Like it did like I ate it, I was like, "Holy shit, this is so good!" I was like, "All right," and you could have it on an ice cream cone, or you could just get it in a container. Um, this place is it in Montclair? Right? No, it's it's in Union City, and oh. then the second one's in Jersey City. Is it vegan? Nah, because okay. there was a spot in China. Montclair that was like they would make banana bread and banana pudding and all this stuff. It was in Montclair and it was just like, it was some vegan spot. And I was just like, yo, fuck, they made some banging ass banana bread. And I was like, brah. And I was working at Starbucks. And I was like, I'd have the Starbucks banana bread. And I was like, this is garbage. Get this out of here. I mean, this, that happens hmm. a lot in Starbucks. Of course it happens. Stuff. Yeah, it's true, but still. Have, have you ever gave uh, somebody you hated like as a customer, like decaf coffee instead of regular? No, you do that the other way around. <laughs> oh, actually, yes. So, <laughs> like, like, like a customer. Like a, a, yes. Like so, a customer. people will come in and they'll go, like, let's say, majority of the time, we would get like this, I call them the super bros. You know okay. exactly what I'm talking about. The yeah. ones that would come into the coffee shops right before they're about to go clubbing and shit. And the super bros that would come in and I'd be like, oh, yeah. I know this guy. He's super douche. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to take care of him. I'm going to kill him with kindness. But he thinks he thinks I'm going to give him like the super Americano with the with the five shots. I forgot what's it called. Uh, there's, one, there's one drink that's just like so much coffee in there. I forgot what's it called. But I just decapped the shit out of this guy. And he he'll just go like, I had a good time last night. <laughs> yeah, he probably didn't even know this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But by, by the by the time he went into the club and started drinking, he probably didn't even know. Doesn't, doesn't. No. But like I always question, like, 
it's like all right because like you know you know like when you get tired and like making stuff and you're like fuck i had to brew another regular like but then you have the decaf coffee like all filled still and you're just like right, let me just pour that in well so um, i gotta brew another one we used to what we have um like 15 minutes every 15 minutes we had to like throw everything out and then put fresh ones in it or was it 12 minutes i can't remember but it was, like, it was like that and then if somebody wanted something like that there would be like a pour over or a clover machine a clover machine that was it's like a reverse french press with a vacuum with a, with a yeah. built in vacuum to, to just suck everything on it's separated. It was cool. I don't make that noise. It was like, yeah, it separated from the grind. Oh, it's pretty awesome. Like, damn, coffee is like on another level nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. They replaced so that with something else, I think. Yeah. Cold brew. Cold brew oh, is like... Got rid of that and put it cold. Just, the it, nitro? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, cold oh, brew took took over nitro. Like, there's no nitro, right? It's cold brew now? Um, I think there's still some stores that still have uh, nitro. And then cold brew, you can actually, so there's special stores that have the nitro, which is uh, the canister that they just pour it out and it looks like yeah. Guinness. Yeah, yeah. And that's really good. Majority of all, most stores have um, the cold brew where they just brew it for like 14 hours or something like that. But so. if you put the, just coffee, I was actually just watching, um, a bunch of uh do you know joshua wiseman the yeah yep. i was <laughs> i love him y'all he his sense of humor is funny i i like love him and i hate him at the same time <laughs> i'm like such a bro <laughs> <laughs> yep yep such a fucking I was watching, bro i was watching his burrito taco recipe i made that over the weekend it was bomb yeah, oh, yeah I, was, it, I just watched his where he recreates a bunch of starbucks drinks water okay uh, i didn't see that one yet but he just puts the for the nitro he just puts the coffee in like a well he goes like super douchey extra and buys his own coffee roaster and, <laughs> 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 and i like i hear because like i'm i'm critiquing him in my head usually yep, and then yep. he like says like well i should have done this and it was like exactly what i was thinking <laughs> so i'm like oh but uh, because when you roast coffee, you have to wait like a like a week before you you know, you drink it and you use it. Anyway. Yep. But uh, so he did the nitro brew and he just put like a whip it in the, the Palmer thing. Mhm. Mm and just did it that way, and it actually looked really good. I was like, I should do that. I'm like. That's yeah. not. That's not. He just put it in that and just like poured it. It? Yeah, he made the coffee. Maybe he made a cold brew, and then he just. But he used like the fancy coffee that he made in his roaster. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then he um. And then he um. Yeah, just put the whippet in and carbonated it. I don't know why I'm blanking on the name of that thing. It's not called a farmer. It's not. You, the, the little silver where you put the seal the, the tank in yeah and then you i forgot what it was called i don't know i'm blanking on it right now froth froth there's a like a real name for it what is it? yeah i i call it the foamer i call it the foamer <laughs> where you make foams and shit but you can make soda and shit too with it it different you can get different types of cartridges like to do that with oh you're talking about the soda stream no 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 the one well, right. with, like with the cans. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kind of flip it upside down, but you can uh, you can get different cartridges for it because we used to do a lot of that at the Union League. Um, we made something weird one time. I can't remember what it was. It was good. Baklava. That's all I can remember. Oof. Like this Baklava. is good. It was good. <laughs> Oh, it, was like, it was like celery or something. It was like a sweetened celery foam or something. Oh, like, this is gross. And then I, tried yeah. it. I was like, all right. <laughs> we sometimes used to put like food color for like the unicorn frappuccino or some shit like that. 
<laughs> come out purple or blue. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And this guy, he made the pink drink and a salted caramel frappuccino or something. Yeah. That sounds good. Salted Salt. caramel. The one he made looked way better than the Starbucks one. So much like... sugar. All of the sugar. Yeah. And right. mostly ice. Mostly ice. Mostly yeah. ice. But the one he made was like the gourmet version. So that that would cost like twenty dollars a cup. <laughs> well, no. he also did the McRib right now. Like that's the other thing. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna have to just do like trendy things. Like I bought an yeah. app with a ginger gingerbread video I just did, and it was like three hundred views in like an hour or something. Yeah, if you get that right, like if you tag the right thing when it's trendy, then people will hop on it. Yeah. So, I mean, like, that's that's the thing. If you go on TikTok and then you start seeing what people are doing, that's it. You just, just make it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But now everyone just doesn't have patience and or, like, the time frame or time, like, you know, they want everything now and quick. So they watch TikTok and now people are putting videos on TikTok where you can learn a whole recipe in 60 seconds. So now who's going to go over to YouTube and watch a freaking 13-minute video on how to make something? Because you can't fucking learn a whole recipe in 60 seconds. If you already know how to cook, you can learn a recipe in 60 yep. seconds. But if you've never cooked before and it's like something complicated and you try to do something you learn in 60 seconds, you're going to fuck it up because you don't yep. understand the technique behind it. No, no, no. But that's the thing. Everybody knows exactly what they're doing today. Yep. That's fake news. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Everybody knows exactly what they're doing. So they're just going to go to TikTok. Everybody's a chef. Everybody's a chef. Everybody's a chef. Uh, yeah, everybody in the mother's a chef. Everybody's a mechanic. Everybody's a doctor. They go right on YouTube. They say, oh, that's how you change your oil. Fuck that guy. I'm doing it myself. Everybody's a doctor. Everybody's a doctor. Everybody's dying of they, go like, they go like this. They touch their boob. Uh, oh, oh, I got cancer. Oh, no cancer. No, it's always cancer. Maybe cancer. cancer. It's always I got cancer. cancer. <laughs> I got I am cancer. I am cancer. I got it. Bro. <laughs> you know, all cancer. On no, the all yes. And that's just it. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Ins and out there. Everybody's a fucking DUI master. <laughs> like, no. Not that's what they are, but it's DIY. DIY. DUI is what you <laughs> Woo! What I'd do if I was to get in the car right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I do it yourself. Nah. Yeah. I, D, yeah. DIY. I be do it yourself. Be right now, actually, but I still be DUI though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo! Wait. So what are you doing? You're doing the the biscuit and the what else are we doing? Biscuit. Uh, kind of biscuit. Recipe. biscuit as in like American style biscuit or biscuit as in like cookie. Oh no, it's like a it's like a packaged biscuit. The ice cream sandwich. Okay, but it's biscuit like the way that Americans think of biscuits or no? Like a coffee biscuit? Like you ever had biscoff? So that's what Americans would call a cookie. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had biscoff? Oh, every time I'm on United Airlines. Actually, I could have one. Bro. <laughs> you ever had yeah. the butter of that? Bro, let me tell you, man. Vegan friendly. Um, So there was one time I was working like a crazy hours at, uh, there, at the shop. And there was nothing but Biscoff and some kind of chocolate. And I was just like, well, this is happening all night. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I just ended up eating biscuits and some some candy bars the whole night. And I was like, this is a good combination. Uh, it is. Maybe he put the Nutella I made on the... On the Biscoff. Ooh, Biscoffs and Nutella. Mm -hmm. But they... So Biscoff has their own butter, like, like a peanut butter type of thing, but it's made out of that. So no. I put that in... On top of that, and I was just like, no. whoa, I'm definitely getting diabetes mad fast. <laughs> so happening. With a little cup of amaretto on the side. Yo. Man, that's a good, that's a good, like, ending a dinner. You end the dinner with that. Amaretto, biscoff, and some, some. Some biscoff. Biscoff, peanut butter. Peanut butter. 
But what is in it? I don't know. But and that jar costs like eight dollars, yo. Oh man. Oh, really it's like yeah, that big. That big. But you, it's a. Is, like, it is it enough for every biscoff that comes in the package, or is it just like? <laughs> For sure, I, I think I think exactly that amount. Nah, nah, they just want people to eat like British people. Nah, man, I'm American, bro. Stop it. You ever, had, no, you ever put not... beans on toast, bro? You ever had beans toast. on toast? Yeah. Yeah, it's gross. That's nasty. I don't like. How oh that my sounds. god, we used to stay at this hotel in uh, by the airport where the fuck we were called the Cop Thorn, and every morning it was English breakfast. Oh yeah, beans and toast. Beans, toast, the tomato, the the mushrooms that were like rubber. They weren't like. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. No, like you used to like you would go to the hotel. Like breakfast is like your free meal, so you're like you used to be like excited to go, and then you would get you would see that on your schedule and be like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that. I I like uh, when I was in what was it Barcelona. I had that. That was like the breakfast. I'm like, what? I was like, what? Why? You were in Barcelona, no. and that was your breakfast? No, I, it was it was one of those days where I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go out and eat. Like I just went down in the hotel. Where did you? And sleep? I was like, at the the W. What? And that was the fucking breakfast. They no, they they had like every like they had a whole English buffet, but I saw people putting beans on toast, and I'm like. Huh. But they didn't have like the, yo. I we stayed at the Barcelona Saints, and the breakfast there. Number when you walk in, it's like Star Wars. It's yeah, crazy. That's dope. It's a crazy. It's above the train station, and that breakfast was amazing. They had like olive bread. They had like oh. all, like all the shit you would get like a tapas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The breakfast. Yeah. This wow. egg egg thing where it was like feta and spinach and like like a, almost and potatoes like uh, scalloped potatoes. Ooh. Like baked together. It was so good. Oh my god. Yep. And all the fresh juices. They had just like a honeycomb thing, and it was like not a super expensive hotel. <laughs> yeah, and it's quality too. Like the, everything's quality. Like you taste. You don't taste the artificial stuff. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? The quality stuff. Yeah. It it's like over here, it's like it, we have that even chocolate, like chocolate bars, candy tastes different. It's because they don't use like artificial sugar or high high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, they and they also like all the the way they like grow their plants and stuff. Oh yeah. More... Like the produce is the best. That's why I'm like hashtag support farmers, yo. Yeah, they would in the Barcelona hotel. They would have this fresh tomato juice that was just like. <laughs> I'm a, I go feel the. Uh, uh, I feel my heart burning already. You know, um, it, no, but it wasn't like that because it wasn't full of like extra salt or anything. It was just the tomato juice. That I don't know what a, what kind of tomato it was, but it was like so sweet. The the wild thing was like, uh, I eat a lot. I eat a lot, a lot. Yeah, me too. And when I got, <laughs> when I got out there to go eat, Chris was like, "Oh well, what's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "I'm breaking a sweat after eating." And I'm like, "I don't feel so good. I don't know what's wrong with me." And she's just like, "Oh, that's that's really good food. That's what you're eating. That's what's wrong with you." <laughs> oh yeah, you probably had like the fresh butter, bro. Like yeah. that good old good old fresh butter, bro. And just churned in the back. And my body, I, I feel like my body wasn't ready for that kind of stuff. Like, oh, yeah, it's so rich. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you got you got them calories in there that are like legitimate calories, not like stuff that's made in the lab or so your body's like, oh, man. I'm full. You just overate. Yeah, <laughs> I was just overeating. I was like, no, I gotta stop. Gotcha. That's why croissants taste way better outside of the United States. <laughs> You also, could taste the, the butter in the flakes. The butter is different, though. That's why it tastes good because it's yeah. European style butter. It's got more yep. fat than but I, I feel like that only when I went to Barcelona with her. That was the only time that that something like that happened to me. Like I, when I went to Scotland, that didn't happen. Uh, what was 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 it after? Like was that your yeah, after your trip? Years. 
was it after yes it was after. That was a short, no 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 it was, it was only like, like two days that short so maybe it's like the second the second day in the morning that's when it had hit me and i was like ah oh, no i can't do this <laughs> i can't do this i can't do this <laughs> france it didn't happen to me and i duck france was like one i one duck night. Uh, like, but the duck was horrible that was a bad in, in france it was bad well because we it was so it was like when i first started flying and we like JFK was like the first base to like get to go to France. And I saw on my schedule, I was like, we're calling. <laughs> Forced me to get and, my uh, passport. Yeah. I was it's like, get like, yeah, your passport, we're going. Passport. And um, this is also before you had the CPAP machine. So I was just like, it was bad. The, sleep, the sleep was really bad. Like, the snoring was real. Oh my god, I felt so bad for the people that had to sit next to him on the plane. <laughs> Yo, this dude, this dude was just like, I was sitting by him and I was sleeping, and then he would just come out of nowhere. He would go like, "Come on, man!" <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like, man, you come on, man! Don't be trying to tell me I'm trying to sleep. I'm not disturbing anybody." <laughs> it's hard to tell who did it though on an airplane. No, it's not. It's not. Damn, then I, I feel bad from the I sat next to. Yeah. And so I was trying to like give him like, <laughs> I was trying to give the people next to him like candy and like free, you know, like free shit. It's like, Just open up a bag of chips real quick to match the flavor or the smell. <laughs> but he was like, oh my God, it's smelling so loud. It was so loud. But, but then also, it was only one night. So we landed and like we immediately went out, but I was working on the plane and I didn't sleep. Like when you go from JFK, it's only like, I think then it was like six hour, a six hour flight. To Barcelona? To uh, so, Paris, France. Or Paris, yeah. But, um, it wasn't like, like if we get like a 10 hour flight, it's nice because you have like a three hour break. So you could take a nap because there's bunks above the like the cabin where everyone sits on the plane we had. It, there was like oh, nice. bunks where you go lay down and take a nap. And um, the the JFK crew, like those flights from Europe to JFK, they're like five, six hours. So you don't really have, you have like 45 minutes and you can't really sleep. So he was sleeping the whole time and we landed and I was like up all night. <laughs> yeah, the time the time difference sucks. Like every time I went to Amsterdam, like I would go to I would try to go to sleep on the airplane. So because like, when you land, like it left at night, so it would be the morning when you land. Yeah. But at least like, I could have that whole day to like go and explore. But then no, like you're in the freaking hotel room trying to like, catch up on sleep. Mm. Yeah. That's so that was like pretty much all my flights were like that. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, we're gonna, I'm going to like push through it. Like we're going to go see. <laughs> and I was just, he slept in the Uber to the city because the hotel, like we never get to stay in the city, you know? So yeah. <laughs> but we like Uber to the city and I think I walked, we st where did we start? The Arc de Triomphe? No, we ended there. Oh, okay. The Eiffel Tower. Oh, and we were gonna walk yeah. all the way down the river to see everything else, and we got to the art. We were, I wanted to walk to Notre Dame. That's my like one regret. Like we didn't walk there because it burned down. After that. <laughs> I think honestly, we walked about eight miles, and I um, was already like, Grace. We Grace is a trooper. She's a damn trooper. She and really I is. wanted to go. I really wanted to take him to like. A, places I've been like reading about and stuff like that but by that time I was so tired and hungry we wound up at like a tourist trap oh. I ordered foie gras because he had never had it before oh man it was like horrible it was so bad it was it wasn't oh, even the right color I had like foie it gras was before. Yeah. Yeah, you went, that? yeah. We went to some spot in New York. Oh, we the, went to Josh's uh Manzo or Manzo, Man yeah. Manzo. That was really Whoa. good. That, like honestly, that that's like that it's was crazy because 
that frog run that we had at Manzo's was so much better than the. I think that was from over there in like France. The, that was from upstate. But the thing is, it was a tourist trap, so it's not like a. Yeah. Have you? Did you? Did you ever eat at a Michelin star place? Yeah, I was lucky that I um, like the school I went to. The first for the associates program, we did a tour of France, so we got to go to a couple of Michelin star places. Um, and then we, then for my bachelor's degree, we did a tour of England. Uh, tour nice. Of so I got to go to a few different places. I actually got to go, I actually really enjoyed the tour of England because we got to go to the kitchens of Buckingham Palace, which is but, that's dope. limits. And somehow, um, somehow like one of the deans or something, like had it in. But I remember uh, me and my friend Jung, we were like, the royal show, I still have his card. I was watching The Crown recently, and I was like, yo, I think I still have this guy's card. <laughs> I found it, and he's still the royal show there. So I'm like, when I get like, you know, a couple thousand subscribers, I'm be like, yo, you want to do an interview? <laughs> but, Why not ask him now? Because he's going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> you never know you never know you can always ask him again later you might have to say no though because he, he might not be allowed to do interviews if he works for the queen you know so, oh yeah you're right but uh because i know like the presidential sh chefs like i mean they can do interviews but they have to like go through a lot of hoops and shit us. to you know like there's questions i can't ask can't ask all that yeah stuff. but uh the i remember we went and um it was during the Queen's Jubilee of her, so I think that's her 80th year of reign or something, or her 70th, something like that. And um, so we were talking to him about uh, like Indian restaurants and we went, so I was like, yo, could you recommend one? Cause this is supposed to be like the best Indian food outside of India. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's some, some of those places are way better than India. Yeah. It's like India with yeah. annotation, <laughs> but uh, that's how they're describing it. <laughs> but, um, so we went to this place called uh, Veera Swami, which was like a high end, like Indian restaurant. And they had a special menu for like the Queen's Jubilee and all this shit. And uh, so we got there <laughs> and it's me and my friend Jung. And I was like, is that? Is that Gandhi on the wall? Like, is that a picture of Gandhi on the wall? <laughs> so, like, the guy comes over and he's wearing like this traditional like Indian. I don't know like what part of India, but it was like a. It was almost like a Sikh turban with like a giant fan coming out of it. Okay. And, um, like Aladdin pants. Like I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, they they had a. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's just regular. Regular, regular turban. Just <laughs> large. <laughs> Like oh, just it's Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Yeah, so, it's the Tuesday. It's the Tuesday fit of the week. Yeah, <laughs> I got that drip drip. Oh, but right? was, uh, they had, so they had served Gandhi like right before he went on his hunger strike. Damn, that's his. Oh my god, that must be good food then. He'd be like, I'm never eating again unless it was them. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> It was so good. I was like, wow. We're really good. Yeah, I mean, UK has got some banging ass. Uh, oh, yeah. They're not shy with the butter, that's why. <laughs> yeah, with that butter. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing we haven't found yet down here. Good Indian food. We found it's in Florida? Good Indian food. Some what's it called? Uh, well, we found the one. Punjab. Oh, that one, but that's kind of far now. Yeah. Like here, we went to one place and like a fucking cockroach ran into the non. Oh so fuck like, that! That got me. <laughs> Not coming here again. Nope. Uh, we're eating like yeah. And we're like, oh, these are so good. And then it was like, <laughs> I was like, oh. I didn't even catch yeah. that one. I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, hard. It's hard to find, like. A good quality Indian spot, because I mean the food itself is hard to plate, like to make it look nice, you know. Have you been Just... to a pizza? One of our first dates. Yeah. 
Yo, no, boy. <laughs> no, uh, takes me to this place in Montclair, uh, Brick Lane Curry House. Oh, oh my God. I have a story for you. Oh my God. But so I'm in the place and I'm looking at, I'm like, oh, wow, you like really did your research. Like it's like New York Times, like rated, like really, like really good quality food, everything. And then like little did I know, like it's just because the Starbucks was like two, <laughs> two stores away. <laughs> Wait, it's what? His Starbucks was like two stores away, oh. and he just like he knew he like he liked it, like it was really good, but he didn't know. Yeah, like, no, that place is fun. bomb. The quality is there. It's good so stuff. I, like, oh. I, I did that that, like the the spiciest curry challenge at that spot. So no. they were on what's his name? Uh, that guy. Who's that guy? I forgot. That, guy. Yeti? that guy? No, no, the guy that oh, eats that like challenge, man vs food guy. What's oh, I love that guy. guy. So he ate the spiciest. So they have two locations. The one's in, in the city. So the chef there was at Montclair location. And I saw him. I was like, ah, oh, this is a sign. I gotta do the I gotta do the challenge. So I did the challenge and holy shit, dude. I definitely I think I got that's definitely what caused my colitis later on in life. You were you were shitting lava for two weeks straight, huh? Bro, uh, yeah, it was oh, so my bad. My insides burned. <laughs> but, but I finished though. I finished it. I got my certificate. They give you a certificate, and you get a free beer or a mango lussy. Nice. So I picked the lussy because I fucking needed that that yogurt, yeah. bro. Yeah. And then um, everyone, the whole restaurant was just staring at me, like fucking cheering me on, like, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So we got a story for you. Um, it's Grace's brother. You remember Danny? It's, yeah, he was getting married, right? Uh huh. Getting married, and it's L.A. And we had a f- fucking shit show of a flight that we had to leave Florida at five a.m. and then have a layover in Texas for three hours, and then finally get over. Mind you, we've been up since five a.m. Damn. And then we get to California around 4 p.m. And we're fucking hungry, we're just dying. Her brother's getting married. All he had was cauliflower, tempura, he's tempura cauliflower, that's what it is. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. So I gotta <laughs> give him some props because the place that it was at, it was actually oh, yeah. really good. The, uh, the Lion Hotel in LA, it's a, uh, the commissary is Roy Choi's restaurant in the hotel. Yeah. So you, like, I remember you talking about it last, the last episode. Oh my God. But, yeah. But Jeff, I, don't, I don't, I don't think you wanted, I never, I didn't hear his side though. Like his experience. Okay. So we're like, <laughs> we're starving and we're eating temp, tempura cauliflower. Like, like little, like with a toothpick bites. bites. And the same with the okay. bites. And we had he had like some kind of three hour open bar. One hour. One hour. Oh my god. Oh, one hour open bar. I've never been so hung over in my life. So we're down in drinks like crazy, right? Okay. Done. That evening is done. He gets married and all that. So we're we're over there for two days. Um, and we decided between like going because we we're going to Scotland for my cousin's wedding yeah. a few days after that. So with my flight benefits, I had a like I have to physically be there to take my brother and his wife with us to L.A. on my flight benefits. So we had like we had like two days in between the wedding and going to Scotland to like explore L.A. Mm-hmm. Basically. So. The last day, I'm like, yo, you know. So the day we're leaving to go to. That's the day that we're leaving. With the flight is at night. So Scotland. Right. Um, I'm like, yo, I want to do something. I want to do something. And she's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, I want to go do a man versus food challenge. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> and she's like, okay, all right. You got this, babe. I'm like, yeah, we go to this taqueria. And it's. They serve you this big ass burrito that's like has oh, to be about yeah. I know what you're five, talking about a five pound burrito foot long. It was literally like oh yeah, it was legit like, like that big. This big. That big. Before you before your airplane ride? Before my airplane ride, yes. 
RIP to whoever sat next to you. RIP, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> yo, you know what? I got this. I don't care. I'm doing it. LA, once in a lifetime. What the fuck? Let's do it. <sighs> now, I didn't know that the, it was time sensitive, the whole the whole eating mm-hmm. of the burrito. It was like an hour? One hour. I didn't know. And I knocked out the whole the whole burrito until like right there. Mm-hmm. Like, Just that right like there. The fistful Just that. Left. Okay. And I was like, I was talking to Grace and we are just talking. I'm having a good time eating the burrito. And the girl comes up to me. She goes and says, your time's up. And I'm like, what? This was time. No. <laughs> and I, she's like, yeah, it was time. Then I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so pissed off. Because like, I mean, yeah. I would have gotten, gotten a shirt. I would have got my name on the wall. You know, I was like, soup. And I didn't get nothing. I was like, fuck. I got a, a full stomach you, full of burrito. And it was like, before all, it, it wasn't like, it was like all meat. Like it was all flavored, like ground beef it wasn't like it wasn't spicy it with wasn't like bad veggies it was or like good. anything else in it though it was good and then plus plus after the hangover too right yes after the hangover that was like a perfect oh, no no that was the day that was like two days after the hangover okay. so i was already cured from the hangover but man i was like come on she could you, like me, you're, you were on a good pace though right like I you were like, like yeah yes I mean, bro, oh my he God. He could have sped it up and like been done and like no problem. Like, yeah. If he knew it was time, like. Damn, five have, pounds, bro. done in like 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, I, can't, yeah. I, can't, I can't do those type of things no more, man. Oh, five, I mean. Can you, still do, can you still do it right now? Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. Because he, I mean, he usually, I just made a giant turkey sandwich. To, Two big tr- turkey sandwiches for each of us, and I can only have mine and he's gonna have no problem. I'm, I'm the kind of dude that goes to like, you know, Jersey Mike's. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll eat like one of their Jersey Mike subs, like the giant one, and I'll go like, I want another giant. And they go like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I want another giant, please. Damn. I'm hungry. So, yeah, I mean, I probably, <laughs> I'll probably be able to knock it out, but it's like, only she would have told me. Yeah. What is there a lot of names on the wall? There wasn't that many names on the wall. Oh, damn. You had you have to make that trip back again, bro. Of course, of course. No, and there's one, there's one down in Miami. Uh i just gotta tell you, there's one another spot in Miami that they make Cuban sandwiches. And man versus food challenge was in that spot too. I was like, oh fuck it, I gotta do that one too. I gotta do that. Oh, I haven't done it yet. I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get down there. That's a walk in the park. It's small. <laughs> like I can do that one. But uh getting back to LA and flying back and forth. So finally uh we get on our flight to uh, uh London. And yeah, so we landed in London and then we had to take like a smaller plane from London to Scotland. Yes. Okay. And so we're like putting our bags in and getting go through security again. Go through security. And um, Danny's wife got a second. um, Oh, uh, check. Like they had to check check, check her and they had to check my stuff too. Yeah. And Grace Grace is standing behind me. Oh. And she's just like, smells like pepperoni <laughs> and i'm like nah it's not pepperoni babe it's not it's not pepperoni and she's just like she doesn't get <laughs> nah it smells like beef jerky you know it smells like and i'm like no it's not beef jerky no <laughs> And she just looks at me and goes like, no, no, please, no. <laughs> like, I'm, who told you to stand so close to me? Like that. Oh, and, uh, shit, yeah. dude. oh my God. Yeah. It, so basically, I transported that burrito all the way from <laughs> LA, one side of the world to the other side of the world, and just blew up a bomb right there in the airport. 
fucked oh it all God. up. And it was pepperoni, <laughs> beef jerky, wildness coming out of nowhere. Woo! <laughs> It's like it's like the movie uh, Step Brothers when they're in that interview. Oh, it's like, what is that? Ketchup <laughs> and, <laughs> and onions? Yes, yes, just like that. Yes. Oh, it was like it was like, oh. it was like a steamy hot slim jim. Steamy hot slim jim. Yeah. So yeah. fast forward. After we leave Scotland and we're coming back home, we're back in Florida, and I'm chilling in like the lunchroom. I'm just chilling there. At work? At work, yeah. yes, at work. And my boss comes down walking down the hallway. He's just like, <laughs> and I'm like, boss, you good? And he's just like, it smells, it smells like sloppy Joe's, you know? <laughs> Like, yeah, sloppy Joe, boss. <laughs> Some sloppy ass Joe. <laughs> Wait, so this is how long has this been in your body, bro? Bro, it was a damn foot long five pound burrito. I don't know. God. <laughs> oh, man. That's like, damn, dude. So your <laughs> boss probably got the worst of it. Yeah, he got the shit end of it, honestly. <laughs> You got the marinated end of it, bro. When you go from pepperoni to sloppy joe, you know you got a problem. You got a problem, yeah. Like pepperoni is the fresh end of it, you know. But sloppy joe, that's some sloppy (laughs) ass fucking joe, man. (laughs) Poor guy. I I don't have the heart to tell him. I don't have the heart to tell him. Like, hey, boss, you remember a while ago you were just like. Now he's gonna know uh... (laughs) because. Because his wife watches the uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. I don't, I don't think she watches the. Uh, let's find out if she watches the conversation. She imagine you go to work and she's like, ah, I know. I see you had that burrito, huh? Ah, foot long burrito, huh? <laughs> now, snake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, that was a good laugh. Oh, my face hurts. It's a good time. Good time. Come on, if he doesn't have a stand-up comedy, please. Come on. Yeah, he has to. You have to, dude. This could be your first yeah. day. If you go, if you go, I'll fly down. Yeah. Come support. Hey. What's your what, What's the closest airport? West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. Does yeah. Spirit Airlines go there? Because I still got a free ticket with them. I really don't they think they, they had fly in and out of there a he, lot. He sees them, but whenever I try to book Newark to to um, West Palm Beach, it's always JetBlue. I never see Spirit. There's Frontier. Uh, does Frontier fly up to Newark? I'm not sure. I think they go to JFK. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds about right. But they go to Fort Lauderdale. Spirit. They go to Fort Lauderdale. They have a base in Fort Lauderdale. So, yeah, Fort Lauderdale's Fort Lauderdale, Newark, super close yeah. to us, too. It's like 40 minute drive, I think. Yeah. So, come on down. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Go to Sarusi's. We'll do the Man versus Food Challenge. Damn it. Let's do it. Wait, you got to have stuff in near you? Man versus Food? Yes, they do. They do. Um, uh, Miami. That's Miami. And how, far, how far is Miami? An hour. Awesome. Oh damn, you're on the on that part of Florida. My whole I thought you guys were like on that other part, like where it goes like like Orlando. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, like that no. little we're, that little uh, like, the unwanted spot of Florida. We're like so close to Cuba. That's how we're like we're so far south that it's New York again. Oh, okay. That's how far. It's retired New York. It's retired New York, yeah. Have you have you been down to Key West yet? No. No. Why? Hey. Aren't you? That's like what? Another two hours? hours. Yeah, but I'm poor, man. Three hours. Yeah. Is it? Is it that? Is it expensive? Like really expensive? Everything is super expensive over there. Damn. Like just a just a bottle of water is like ten bucks. Yo, you know? Let me tell you this one. I got another eye opener for you. So, um, I'm down in Miami with Truder's uh, bachelor party. 
Mm-hmm. And I walk into a random bar on Ocean Drive and I go get myself a Corona. I said, let me get a Corona. Girl says, she cracks it open, puts the lime in and hands it to me. It says 10 bucks. And I go like, keep it. I don't go, go. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's New York prices. Like, get the fuck out of here. Keep that damn shit. 10 bucks? No. Yeah. What am I paying for? You? No. Bye. <laughs> I go to the nearest gasoline station. <laughs> well, I mean, if you could always find a way to make things cheaper, like especially having your YouTube channel. Like what I do is like, hey, like I'll do a review or something if you like hook it up with food. Like you like just barter with the owners and they'd be like, oh, I mean, it's free advertisement. Why not for a free meal? So every anytime we decide to go somewhere, just call them or like just email them. You never know. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You're still in the same spot, right? True. Yeah, well, I love bakery. Oh, really you should you, you should start doing food uh food vlogs like avoid like eating at certain spots. I, I mean, you could probably critique like pretty well with your yeah. background. I mean, yeah, there's um. <laughs> my background or my personality. There's Jupiter, there's Jupiter <laughs> Donut Shop. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That'd be good. It's a couple like of donuts. Spots. There's a lot of places. But the thing is, too, like, I also don't want to do that because if, if, if I don't like the food, I'm not going to lie. Why not? You already ate it. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, you kind of like, yeah, you kind of have to be biased if the food is free. I mean, like, for me, I really don't care. I just <laughs> be honest. <laughs> no, I would, like, I couldn't do that because I, it's a reflection on me, you know? Yeah. I go to I mean, say this place is good and someone goes there and they find out that it's not good. Like, then they're not going to, no one's going to listen to me anymore, you know? It's like yeah. You're getting paid off. So, I'm not going to do that. I'd rather go to places that I think are good first and then ask them. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because <laughs> I already know they're good. Like there's this bakery by us called, I can never say the fucking word. I don't know how to say it. It's some French word. I don't know what the I is with two dots over it. That's like a new one. L-O-I with two oh. dots over it. C. Yeah, you getting, that, that's, that's, you're getting into like something something crazy with the two dots on the eye it's like like the, it's classic does, that, does that mean that the eye has three three dots no it's like two right next to each other and then the, the eye part is like in the middle oh uh, that's like you talking like mathematics there that's, that's what it sounds like <laughs> talking about new math it might here. be like a lot dropping some equations on this bitch a squared plus b squared well, equals we, c squared bro i don't know mm-hmm. no, yeah, no, sounds, no. i don't know what it's called but the almond croissants are really good. What spot is this? Oh, is that yes. spot over there? Yeah. Okay, I know which spot you're talking about. Because, I, I mean, there's some spots. It's, it's wild, Verge. It's wild. You ready for this one? All right, I'm ready. You, you can go to, like, a spot that's like, oh, everybody loves this place. We all love it. That's what people say down here. Yeah. You go to there, and you go like, this tastes like shit. And then... You go to the gasoline station and you get a you get the same thing from the lady that has like one eye missing. Oh, the shit is off the hook. Hell yeah, I love those. I'd rather go to the the one eyed lady than yeah. the actual I, like place where I, everybody's I, waiting in line. Hell yeah, you know, because that one eyed lady put she, love. No, nah, she did it. She was a sweetheart. So she, had say both eyes. she had both eyes. She was. Just, I'm just. just her both eyes. I'm. I'm yeah. just. Exactly. Yeah. But, it was but there's more like there's more love in, in that food than yeah it was, it was a gasoline like, uh, station it was like, legit it was a gasoline station like there's there's one cuban spot that's like known they're known i took grace there one time grace mm-hmm. like yo the orange juice you could taste that they have a kingdom machine oh yeah this one cuban bakery and it, you could tell it was a cuban and italian but as soon as i walked in like like you can just tell when like pastries look old, like they've been sitting yep. for a while. And that's what it looked like. Like you go in and the side was like the pastry case. And I was like, they they were also doing like Italian ones, like 
cannolis and you know that kind of stuff but it was just weird and then pretty, yeah they, they the leftovers don't they just serve it the next day i guess yeah but then they also yeah, but yeah, like you could tell ago. and then um when people they had one of those orange juice machines where you put the oranges in and then mm -hmm. squeezes the fresh orange juice which i love those machines but you can taste when they don't clean the machine <laughs> and for the knife and everything like that and i was like i'm not gonna drink this like i'm gonna have the shits later <laughs> <laughs> like i was just really disappointed but then uh because i've been seeing this bakery like the building is beautiful you know and i was just like mm -hmm. oh, i can't wait to like try that place out and um I'm so disappointed. I, I hate those experiences. When you when you go to a place that looks really nice and just like it's just everything builds up to that point when you try it and you're just like, what the fuck? But then and then you just don't want to eat it no more. You're just like, ah. Oh. No, but yeah, this gas station is like directly right across the street from the airport. It's yep. Dirty as hell. A couple of it's rats. not dirty. It's not dirty. Just, just the exterior of the guy. Even if it was, yeah. was like, but the but the place like the actual like little cafe. Oh, they're it's cooking. Really it's small, clean. like it's nice. super clean. You can tell like they're doing everything like yeah. safe. You know, <laughs> like they're cleaning their orange juice machine. Like <laughs> I was like, this place is legit. You gotta yeah. get a lot of too. No, the no, my number one thing is. Out of that, that that orange juice machine, they gave me like a 32 ounce OJ. And I was like, oh, and they yeah. iced it. They made sure. Oh, it was hell yeah. They didn't ask no question. They just threw some ice up in there. I was like, damn. Yeah, that would fight coronavirus all day. All that vitamin C. Yeah, right. They, they got some <laughs> dirt home, boy. I like that. They cool with me. Yeah. And I pumped up and the And they gas. had all the old like Cuban guys. And it was like a bar, basically, like a wooden bar. You'd walk in and like the registers right by the door and then they had like this tape that was like supposed to keep people like six feet apart at the bar <laughs> but it was like you could tell it was probably the same like three cuban guys that like been going there for like 20 years you know like yeah. yelling at each other it was good it's chill chill there's ton oh, yeah. tons of nice spots like that yeah, i definitely got to make a trip down oh yeah I mean, it was also nice when, um, as annoying as it was, whenever Trump would fly in, they'll close down all around the airport. Really? But the cool thing is to see Air Force One. What? That was pretty fucking cool. Well, you saw it land? Yeah, you get to see it land, take off. You get to, you get to fuel or defuel oh, I get Marine to, one? Yeah, I get to defuel Marine One. That's cool, too. So, well, how was that? Like... Was there like mad security around you to make sure? God, yo, if you <laughs> if you fart, if they smell pepperoni, they will shoot, bro. <laughs> they will shoot. They'll Swiss cheese your ass, legit. <laughs> like, what kind of tear gas are you using? <laughs> oh, <laughs> contaminants. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's inside the inside the. But yeah, I mean, it's it was really cool, really cool. Um. I think I had a really, a really sweet picture of st uh, standing in front of Air Force One. Sweet. No, I tried to fix it. That picture. Your face is too dark. It's pixelated. Oh, you were trying to fix that picture? Yeah, I was trying to light your face so you could see your face. You know? Where is it? Should be in the corner. I mean, I'll be right back, Bridge. Yep. You can't just leave him hanging over there. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> You can always cut this part. Well, I cut nothing. It's got to go up tomorrow. <laughs> it's got to go. It's got to go. It's got to go. So, uh, I think one of the Marines they had gave me a nice little coin. That's dope. For defueling Marine One. Really? Like, how do they, like, do they do, like, a ceremony or they just give it to you? No, they just give it to you. It's like, here. There's a little iPad. Got cool. on the back. Good Thanks, job. Man. There you go. Defuel the damn bird. Get out of here. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's chill. It's pretty chill. I mean, yo, that, that thing is nice. Clean. Clean. But was there, was it the second one there, too, or just the first one? The, oh. like, you know how they have two? 
one's like the like the one to like what is it like deter away from the actual one with the president Decoy. in it oh oh yeah. those, that's what you're talking about okay so when the first lady melania she, whenever she would come in um she would fly on that one i don't think you can be divulging these secrets they're listening, bro. I mean, they've been listening to my conspiracy. I mean, everybody knows it, though. And, uh, sometimes they would have... Uh... Did you have to sign anything? No, everybody knows this. Yeah, if you sign anything, bro, they're going to be knocking on your door in like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways, <laughs> and then uh, the big man he would fly on the Air Force One, but he would only come down like... He'd be down here for... Well, his first year, he was down here all the time. All the time, time. he played golf. All the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got nice golf courses there. Yeah. They're nice. Which is right next to the. They're nice. They're all right. Justice. Criminal justice complex. It's right by, yeah, right by the comp, the best spot. And then it's also right by this gentleman's club called Ultra. Ultra. (laughs) Ultra. Just screams Old Spice. (laughs) <laughs> just screams old spice you know but uh yeah and then um sometimes they would before he would fly in it would uh i think have f i don't know some kind of fighter jet i ain't, I ain't gonna bs i don't know <laughs> yeah don't know, some like, kind of fighter jet yeah some, something with a big ass gun on it yeah something that could put some species <laughs> you know how it is and then um some secret service guys standing over in the distance and stuff. And then they'll close all the hangers so you can't go outside. And if you're working on a plane, you either you have to stay inside the plane and or like get the fuck out of there. You can't you can't be on site or you can't be seen. And that's just that. Wow. It's craziness. They shut down the traffic. I remember this one dude who was telling me, I had just came back from, from my Miami. And I saw that he was coming in, and I was just like, I came into the 7 Eleven, and I was just like, I'm chilling. I'm getting, I'm chilling. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just gonna sit down right here because I know they're gonna close down everything for about two hours. This guy walks into the 7 Eleven. He missed his flight because of, because of that. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's that sucks. How big is that airport? I mean, is that a small airport, West Palm Beach? Yeah. It, so yeah, I think that air, that aircraft can land in, on that strip. It's a small airport, but the thing is, it's a it's also like a small international airport. But it's also oh, small, okay. like it's a small airport on like the commercial side, but like the private side is big. Makes it really big. Mm. So like the amount of runways and stuff they have, yeah, is like larger than you would think Very if you big. were just taking like a commercial flight out. Yeah, um, Michael Jordan flies in here all the time. Tony Robinson. Tony Rob, yeah, Tony Robbins. Oh my God. That's oh yeah, he got his plane up here in Teaneck. Yeah. Yeah, he rents his his plane out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I know that his maintenance director too. That guy. Woo-hoo! Wow. I mean, Jesus. Hey, Actually, this cup is from a plane they took apart. Oh, yeah. So there was a plane that we were like (laughs) departing. And I was just like, those are really fine glasses. You know, you know your boy, Noel. He's got fine taste. He's got (laughs) fine and refined taste. And I was just like, yeah, he knows all the best restaurants and knows all the fine wines and all that nice stuff. So. I'm like, yo, let me take these glasses. And I said, A, I'm a, I need some whiskey glasses at home. Some whiskey glasses, you know what I mean? That's nice oh, right, right there. Look at that. Wow, that's nice. Finger, like right, right there. This is where you don't drop it. <clears throat> no, you have too many. Nice. And then I was just like, I also need myself some wine glasses. And then <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> That's my wine That's glass. That's his wine glass. He's letting me borrow it. Uh, like... I'm letting her use it. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Crystal. That's nice. That's gorgeous yeah, right you there. You gotta take a hand off the stem. Look at that stem. Oh, yeah. All one piece. It's all the stem. It's cool. And then the, the rest of it, I just took it to the pawn shop and I got like about 100 bucks off of it. And I was like, yeah. Wow. 
you do what you gotta do. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> no, but let, let me tell you about something. So this is one time. Um, I get a phone call from one of my buddies. This guy has like a cartoon character's name. I'm gonna mention, I'm gonna drop his name, Joey Colombo. Yeah, Colombo. And he's like, yo, I'm tearing this house apart. <laughs> and I need some help. And I'm like, you got it. I'll be there. I'm gonna bring my boy with me. I bring Jordan. You know Jordan. Wait, hold on. Where was I going? Oh, okay, so I got a phone call from my buddy, Joey Colombo. He goes in and says, hey man, I'm parting out of the house. I need shit thrown out of this house. And if you want to keep some of the shit, you keep it. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm gonna bring my boy. I'm gonna bring Jordan with me. Jordan comes with me. We start tearing apart this house. We get to the attic and in the attic, there's like mountains and stacks upon stacks of all these nudie magazines. <laughs> and all these nudie magazines, they're like from 1970s and 1980s. All like the vintage. The vintage, like the chicks like had froze, like <laughs> pussy froze, like straight up. And I was like, yeah, pussy froze. Let's let's point at it and giggle like little boys, you know? <laughs> yeah, we giggled, right? We just laughed like, little pussy froze. And we throw them all away. But you threw all those magazines away? Listen, listen, we threw all of them away. We had like at least 200 or 300 stacks of them. <laughs> yes and then i said to i said to jordan i said jordan you know i'm gonna be nosy i just want to i'm wondering how much do you think those go for like after we threw it away <sighs> there was just like if you had one that was like a special edition which we had a whole bunch of a special edition was four hundred dollars wow the whole, like the whole thing could have been about like five G's. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be a lot more to whoever like- No, no there was, bro, all there was, the there was all, all the pussy froze. All the pussy froze. There was like, so much money. there was Penthouse. There was Playboy. There was this one that was like from, what the hell is it called? From Europe, it's called We. I was like, yeah. All the fucking pussy froze, bro. Like time oh. machine. I I mean I I got disturbed a little bit. I mean because like some of the magazines they were like sticky, and I was like I didn't know if they were sticky uh. because of like them being old or something like that. So I was like ah, 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 I ain't touching this. I ain't messing with that. We know what happened there, you know. <laughs> so I'm like nah, you forget about that. So we just we threw it all away. Man, that would've been nice though. Yeah, that would've been. Would've is been. that is that like the only thing you found, or was there other like weird oh, thing? No. I also found. You found all these big, like vintage plates, like China. China. And he was like, "I'm gonna save these." And then they were worth like anything they compared were, to the. They were gold encrusted. <laughs> I thought they were worth something. Like I mean, yeah. just like I I found these. Of course, yeah. I thought yeah. they were worth something. No, they were really pretty, but they just weren't. I, I, I would I, I would have just used them. I fucked up, Burns. I get yeah, I gave them to one of my homies. He was just like, yo, I can find out how much it costs. I was like, yeah, take them. Get them the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, man. The fucking put the money was in the pussy fro. That's where it was. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm just like demonetized. <laughs> What's what do you mean demonetized? You just said pussy fro, like. <laughs> Oh, you gotta you gotta blank that out. I can't blank. Like I don't know how to do that yet. Number one, number two. Uh, yeah, I think you should be fine. <laughs> I, I, I think I think you should be fine. Yeah, people talk about pussy froze all day. You know. I mean, it would be like what two out three hours. Oh snap! How uh, two uh, two hours two and a half hours in? God, you gonna have do you you gonna have like a hella ads in this video? It doesn't matter because I'm not getting paid for them yet. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Did we not? 
I don't know. Had on this call. Still talking you know, about it. I know. Everything. <laughs> Speaking of. Yo, so, and we still didn't even go, like, we were talk- this all came up when we were talking about what you were going to do on your channel. <laughs> yeah, the whole, like, purpose of this this episode was to talk about food. <laughs> talk about food. Talk about what's coming up on Mr. Flavor Saver. That's the reason why I can't be here, guys. <laughs> well, you had to be here. After, after you have to. conversation, it was like... Yes. You, talked, you gave us, like, how many good stories? Papa Giuseppe. Pussy Pros. A five-pound burrito. Five-pound burrito. <laughs> The time traveling burrito. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's crazy. That was a funny, that's a funny story. Bad news, man. Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you went, if you went the other way, you would have farted it before you ate it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, don't talk like that. Yeah. Time travel. Mm-mm. That's a cool thing. I could say I'm a time traveler. Pretty cool. It is. I mean, you're going, yeah, backwards in time, right? Yeah, if you go Europe to forward, America, and if you go America to Europe, you're going forward. Yeah. But I was doing all of it. <laughs> Back home. Oh. All, all the time. I always wondered, like, did I age more because I was time traveling or less, maybe? Like, did I age at a different rate? Did I lose or gain time? Or did it all even out? I don't know. It's weird, yo. Know, you're going into this area where now we're talking about the Earth spinning, but you're flying in the air. So, it's like, all right, if the Earth is spinning... But you're like in the air. The earth is spinning, but you're still in the air. So it's like, can you just elevate and then the earth spins and you can just drop back down at the right spot? No. No, no. because then you have a uh, Because you're gravity. still you're still in the gravitational pull of the earth. So you rotate with your yeah. unless if you okay. left the so earth and you're out of the gravitational pull, then like the space if, station. Whoa. You could do that. Imagine if that actually does become the future of uh, uh, like aviation itself. No, yeah. that'd be too long. It would take, well, unless they figured out like besides rockets. I mean, you see the you see the video of the UFOs that the pen, uh, penthouse, not penthouse. Yeah. Like, yeah. Pentagon. yeah I know what you're talking huh? about. Talking about pussy frogs, boy. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what you. Hey. <laughs> you put you put thoughts in my head now, dude. Well, Twelve hours of TikTok. <laughs> You know, that's where the comes into just like that word. <laughs> but you saw those videos, right? With the UFOs like freaking flying like yeah, the, the tic- tic- five thousand miles per hour, like five feet above water. Yeah, the tic tac. I, I kid you not. This happened to me yesterday. Um I was in Miami. I didn't tell you this. I was in Miami and we're doing high power engine runs. And I'm like, first I see this one plane go up and go circle all the way around. I'm like, okay, that's a helicopter. That's cool. Then I see like these bright lights all the way, all the way off in the distance, kind of like the sparkling on the screen. And I see that and I was like, yo, what? And I'm like, hey, yo, yo, you see that? And he's just like, I think he was just oblivious. Like he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. All right. uh, no, I'm just gonna shut up. I didn't see shit. <laughs> but it was like that. I was like, what? yeah. It's crazy. Especially when you when you can see the sky like really clear, which I probably like is there a lot of light pollution down there? Yeah. By so, your area? Oh, it's like yeah. pollution. We're in, like by the city, so we're in the city. It's New York City. Yeah, yeah, when I was in Arizona, like the right, desert, right. I was just like, yo. Like, I'm looking at the sky like I've never seen it before. Oh my god. Oh my god. I missed that. Like, <laughs> we, I saw, like, I was like, oh, I can't I wait to see something. Whole, that's beautiful. Like, there's just some, this so tranquil. Like, seeing yep. something like that. This like, I wouldn't even be on my phone. Like, I would just, at, once the, the sun goes down, like, I will just sit out there. Just mm-hmm. look. I'm just hoping I see something. Mm-hmm. 
I'd be like, I knew it. Like, I saw it. Uh, yeah, it was there. Aha. <laughs> Men in black. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that, that thing, yo. That little that memory eraser. You know, according to uh, Joey Diaz, though, like the, some of the most uh, most UFO sightings are like we're we're from in New Jersey, like that area, like West New York and Jersey City and stuff. Yo, yeah. I don't know if you went up to Eagle Rock, oh. you can see some shit. Maybe beautiful. beautiful spot. Tonight you can see the Northern Lights if you're like in Connecticut, because it uh, it's like yeah, it dips below like it's like literally like. The Canada and U.S. border, it's like hovering right on it, oh, and it goes down awesome. to like Connecticut. <laughs> Bless you. Know, when we used to fly, we would fly over Greenland all the time because we go over the Bering Strait or whatever <laughs> to Europe. <laughs> and uh, the um, the so the Northern Lights, like you get to see them all the time from the airplane. It's like the cool what? thing. So I want, I want to do that. I want to see that. That would be dope. Dude, in the, and like they would let, if the, cause in a 787, it's like a huge plane. So there's four mm-hmm. seats in the cockpit uh, because they need, it's, you know, in long haul flights, they have to have um, like a certain amount of pilots for the flight so they can take breaks and alternate and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um, so as long as there weren't four up there, like if there were three pilots, like one at a time, you could go into the flight deck and it's like this huge front window. So you could, they let you sit there and see the, all the stars and like everything. Like one time I went up there and I got, I could, you could see Mars with your naked eye. That That's cool. dope. They're always downloading like these constellation apps and stuff. Oh yeah, I I had that ready when I was in Arizona. I was like, yeah, look, it's Jupiter, Saturn, Mars. <laughs> that, that was the three that that was just clear, like you could just see it. I was just like, whoa. Around this Damn. time, around this time up there, you could see a whole lot of stuff too. Like I mean, oh yeah, the, the what is the the North Star? You could basically see it like it's just bam right there. Yeah, yeah. Like when it gets like that, that like what's this really really chilly out? Like what that. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm-hmm. like when it clears up and you're just like, whoa. That right before, like that. Right before it gets like super cold and it's yep. just... <laughs> it's like right after Scorpio season's over. Damn Scorpios. <laughs> yeah, so uh we get to Colorado this one time. And this guy. Grace, the rent the car rentals in Grace's name. Now, Grace is like a legitly metropolitan kind of lady. She doesn't like to drive, you know? She don't oh fuck, it. fuck fuck steering wheels. Fuck that shit. I you hate know what it. I mean? It gives me like <clears throat> the most agita of anything I could. Like, I'd rather get in a street fight. Like, I'd rather, like, <laughs> I'd rather do anything else with like drive. And like, I just get like a. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Like I hate driving so much. So I'm driving ten, like ten. Like that said, even though I'm like super anxious and everything, like I'm a really careful driver. Like I don't speed. Like I'm always ten and two. Like I'm <laughs> fucking vigilant, like the whole way. But I just don't. I don't trust anyone else on the road, especially down here. Like New Jersey, it was like, like locally and stuff, it was fine because the streets are a lot smaller and like people aren't gonna, they have, you have to pay attention. You know, mm-hmm. you can't just, but in Florida, all the roads are like straightaways. And like, okay. they're like for us, like a four lane road with a fucking like handle to turn off on, that's called a highway. Like here, it's called a street. Like that's not the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like I remember the first time I drove on like Washington Ave. Oh my god. <laughs> Two lanes. So scary. But I'm driving the rental car, and this guy, all of a sudden, he's just like, like I'm, my plan is to, like pull out of the 
like airport area and find a place to like pull over so he can do it but like because the way ins the insurance was like in my name we're not gonna pay an extra three hundred dollars for like <laughs> to be on the insurance or whatever because like i don't have that kind of money so then um <laughs> so i'm like pull out and start driving and there's nowhere to pull over and it's like i don't know it's really late pitch black it's pitch, also. pitch black no it's like no really like street light or anything because and we're not used to that either yeah and, you're a mile up in the air too right yeah and then there's not only is there a speed limit but there's a speed minimum of 70 which i do not <laughs> like <laughs> like i don't like going over 55 like, i was like oh my god am i out of yet am i out of yet and like the, they have like these tr tractor trailer trucks that are going like uh -huh. they're going over the speed limit like i'm just trying to go to the speed minimum and these like <laughs> fucking i don't know how many wheels the fucking truck has but you know the ones with all the wheels and they're like they're they're going so fast like by me that like the car shakes and I'm like, oh my god that's there yeah, they're going fast and... like, they must be going like 120 like it's crazy so then i'm driving and like like three of those go by me and then all of a sudden, one goes, whoa! And I was like, ah! Like, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Like, I thought we were going to die. I'm crying. And just, Look at the stars. <laughs> They're so beautiful. And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Look at the stars. I'm not looking at the stars. I'm looking at the road. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so mad. So oh, mad. I had I had a pull over. We found a McDonald's. I had to pull over and just cry. For <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, it's like for the stars. But they're so pretty. I'm like the stars. <laughs> like the stars. Come on. Oh now, my god. I mean, yeah, of course you get to see stars in Jersey like that, but it's just like there's a lot of light pollution next to New York. Yeah. And right next to New York City. Everywhere. And it's just like out there, there was nothing. Yeah, Wild. pitch black. It was like, wow. I only see this like when I go to Pennsylvania or go to Cheese Quick uh, up there, up, upstate yep. New York. Man, that was nice right there, man. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, it's nice up there. And then finally, like when I get the when I get the the car, I'm like, finally, that's rip. No, <laughs> no, he didn't get to the next day because I got so mad that. I was like, no, I'm finishing this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I was like, I'm finishing this. It was the next day. And I, and I was like. <laughs> so I, but so then I drove, I drove to Colorado Springs where my friends live. And then the next day we drive on that same road. And I realized I was driving on like the side of a mountain the whole time. But I didn't realize because it was pitch black out. So I didn't realize like after the guardrail, it's just like a drop. And I was just like, oh my God. Like I can't, do this. I can't do this anymore. So he drove the rest of the time. <laughs> oh, my friend, it was such a good time. Such a good time. Because it's like you have to drive above 70 all the way. Yeah. And every of course you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to 70. Like if you don't, you're basically <laughs> fucked. <laughs> And there was like so many like people just racing others and others. They're like, nah, you're gonna get pulled over. You're gonna get pulled over. It's good times. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Can't wait to yeah, I miss. I want to go on another trip. Yeah, should plan something. <laughs> just come down here. Can't wait to yeah, how about it? Because then you could just stay here, and then you don't have to worry about. The hotel, COVID with yeah. the hotel and everything. You have a personal Uber driver. Yeah. Grace. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a lot of good cooking videos for sure. Oh yeah. I mean, Verge. I'm I'm gonna sound fucked up, but do you know any like Indian cuisines? Oh yeah, I make it all Woo! the time. This is the fucking god. <laughs> I asked. Let me let me tell you. I got this buddy of mine. His accent. I was like. Yo, do you know any Indian cuisines or Pakistani Pakistani cuisines? And he goes like, "I'm from North Carolina." 
I don't know none of that shit. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, he's from Georgia. 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 He's There's a, a, oh my God, this, this guy's a character. Love that guy. He's a Pakistani guy with a mullet. <laughs> Holy like He is badass. 100%. A mullet, rides a crotch rocket. <laughs> Straight up badass man. All and all, he listens to is speed, sp- speed right? Speed rock. What's it called? Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Speed metal. Speed metal. That's it. Character. Like, that guy's hilarious. Sounds like a party man. Yeah, he's the old. <laughs> Doesn't know any. His parents didn't teach him any Pakistani food. No Pakistani. Food. Yeah, it's it's similar to Indian. Similar but different. Yeah, it's it's like. You can't you can't tell an Indian is is the same. You can't tell yeah. a Pakistani is the same. Yeah. It's like for me, it's like you can't tell a North Jersey that the, the South Jersey is the same. Yeah. You can't do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Similar but different. They use the same spices, and maybe some like one chicken would have like one less. But they also like you both have lassies. You know, there's, there's a lot of common things. But I mean, yeah. it's the same thing with Europe. There's a lot of common things. Right. Especially with like Spain. And it, one thing, <laughs> so my next video is going to be uh, hot chocolate. Oh, perfect timing. You know, I'm going to plug the book too. You should make the chocolate bomb, like the chocolate, hot chocolate bomb. I, I saw in. that. Ooh. But I'm doing You're making chocolate. hot chocolate with that? Yeah. Oh my god, that party's gonna be lit. That's, that's the stuff right there, man. I haven't seen that in so long. It's gonna be back PTSD, bro. Yeah, I think that was the last one. Like we went to two different liquor stores to try to find it, and that was the only one on the shelf, and it's got dust on it. That's so, dangerous. It's so funny. I was was it was it because I was talking about it that you remember that, or you were thinking about it? I was thinking about it because I, I didn't know if I wanted to do Cafe Patron. I actually got both because I still don't know what I want to do. But like um, in Scandinavia, like whenever we had like Oslo or Copenhagen flights over to Florida, like the thing they want to like party with is uh, hot chocolate and Baileys. Like that's the thing. So I don't know if I want to do that. I actually have never tried it because. You might. I mean, I think it was a great idea to do it with that. Well, we used to, we did that at the something. One of the places I worked, we we did that, and then uh, we did. But I changed the recipe of like the hot chocolate part because uh-huh. I thought it was too rich. But I also noticed because I was on a rabbit hole of Josh, Joshua Wiseman. <laughs> <laughs> he made a couple different ones, but he made this one that was Italian hot chocolate. But I actually know it as the hot chocolate that's from Barcelona. No, no, and no. It's, it's Papa Giuseppe's hot chocolate. <laughs> so i was just like like if you go to barcelona and you were like this is italian hot chocolate like they would tell you to fuck yourself like they, yeah. and it's almost like a pudding like it's so thick and you dip churros in it oh. yeah it's good so i was just like but it's so it's like basically super thick ganache it's like ganache but it's not only is it thickened with like the chocolate part, it's thickened with cornstarch. So it's got like that pudding consistency yep. mm-hmm. served hot, but it's really like chocolate pudding. We had it when we went. And I don't think you liked it. Yeah, I was about to say, it doesn't sound yeah. uh, But it was, uh, <laughs> but I thought, but to me, like I want, like in my hot chocolate, I want like the, the richness that like makes it more adultish, but I still want like, I want it to be thin yeah. enough where it reminds me of the hot chocolate I had when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, when you say hot chocolate, but you eat it with the spoon, it's like, hmm. Exactly. Hot chocolate. You know, like, exactly. I, like I, I'm like i I'm on your page. Like I, I don't need a spoon to eat hot chocolate. Exactly. You, don't you want to drink, hot, you want to drink hot chocolate. No, you guys just need a spoon to like fish out the marshmallows. Like that's what it's <laughs> Before it melts away. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So I just did, because I figured I just did the gingerbread thing. So do a, do a hot chocolate. I have so much yeah. gingerbread dough. 
Have you seen the the hot chocolate bombs? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah that's uh-huh. blown up on TikTok. So you definitely like see if you can do something like that. Last year. Was that is that the thing that you pour something hot on top of it and then it melts open? Oh. Yeah, and then and then the, the chocolates inside. Maybe you can put the the patron shot in the hot chocolate ball. <laughs> Ah, you crazy. Bro. I would have to do two, maybe two sides, because if you got the powder wet, it would like clump. But I'd probably do like two sides. I was or maybe or maybe just a chocolate sphere with the patron shot in it. I was telling her she needed to make like a excuse me. You need the other seasoning though. Yeah, like a little bit. Yeah, a little bit soon. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's past your bedtime? Yeah. Damn. Well, let me let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Midnight so, turned into a pumpkin. <laughs> um, I was telling her she should have bought, like, she wanted to make a gingerbread house or gingerbread something. And I was like, how about you make a building made out of a gingerbread man? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he still has to draw this for me. I still have to draw it. Because I wanted I to, to draw, last yeah. year I did a plane because I was in a plane like i wasn't home on christmas so i was like i'm not gonna be in a house i'm gonna be in a plane so i did gingerbread airplane which turned out really cool and then um a hit. then this year i was like well i don't, I don't have a house yet like i live in an apartment like could i do an apartment building but you know you only have a week to like get this like i don't really yeah. have like a day to get this video shot <laughs> really yeah oh my God, that's not gonna happen but also, like, nobody's going to eat it. So, like, if I make a bunch of gingerbread men, I can, like, give them out to people. But then he That's true, about- too. Because you can't, if you, I mean, that's a giant gingerbread house. And that means it's not going to look good to give it out, right? If, unless if you eat it all. Nah, I ain't going to eat that shit. Nah. <laughs> you must just make gingerbread men, then. Yeah. You can hand it out. Yeah. yeah. I put them in like little baggies. I've been trying to give one to my neighbor, but like, I don't know what happened to her. It was so annoying last year when she made that plane, man. Like, number one, I work with. Oh, nice. I work with like super nerds, super nerds. And they were like, oh my God, I ate the vertical stem. Oh no. <laughs> This empanage, oh no. Oh, like, I took the, uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like I took, if you go, so speaking of like airplane nerds, there's like airplane models for airplane, like like real, like real legit paper airplanes you can build if you're an airplane nerd. <laughs> and you can get all the, uh, like you can print out all the parts and stuff and like really you can build like a 3d model out of paper so wow. well, i wanted like the simpler version so you can either do like the traditional like you know like a couple pieces or you could get like where you fold it and it like makes a 3d engine like you get 3D mm-hmm. engine, which is pretty cool but um so i got the actual like 70 boeing 787 like paper template and I traced that and like made it bigger and then I made the gingerbread airplane out of the actual to make it actually be the same plane that I flew on which is pretty cool that's cool so I learned it out and then I like painted it with all like the Norwegian stuff it was cool <laughs> I made Santa the tail fin hero I learned it out a little bit learned it out a whole lot <laughs> A whole lot. So I was I'm, like, glad, I'm glad they appreciated it. That was nice. That was no, nah, but it, it was, was nice. nice. It was nice. It was nice. nice. <laughs> no, but honestly, I'm so sorry, Virg. I gotta, I gotta split. I gotta, I gotta split. split. You guys yeah. split too? should should end it now. I mean, it's been like what three hours. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you made it this long, uh, <laughs> check out Mr. Flavor Sir. <laughs> <laughs> on uh, YouTube. All the links will be in the description. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. All that shit. Yep. All right. (laughs) See you guys on the part three. Part three? Are we going (laughs) to stop this recording and then talk for another hour? Like we did last time? No, no, no. I got to go. We'll talk about the juicy stuff off camera. (laughs) Oh, fuck. And then Stacy.
that bitch. Hey. All right. <laughs> and, that, and that other bitch, Gwendolyn. Bye, guys.